kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, my friends. I'm a little out of breath, so I was like scrambling and running up and down the stairs <laughs> like an idiot uh, before the stream started here. But hey, here we are. How's everyone doing? Look, I'm big now. Also, my beginning seems to have just... <sighs> Oopsie vaporized the chat box we just destroyed it apparently even though it's the same chat box source oh well it's nice it is um not a new camera per se <sighs> okay hold on breathe <sighs> no I'm, I'm good um it is uh it is an existing camera that i just don't usually use for streams but when i'm on podcasts and stuff i tend to reason being is that it's here instead of here. So I've got this one here. And I've got this one here. Right here. So, two cameras. <laughs> Reasons. Yes. This camera and this camera. This is the one I usually use on streams because it's over my second monitor. This one is over my main monitor. Anyways, hope that makes sense. When you have two, yeah, depending on where I'm looking. Anyways, how's everyone doing today? How are we all doing? We have Crazy Scott, Tetra, Darren, Rin. We've got Bonnie, we've got Allie, we've got Matt. We've got Alyssa, we've got Wyatt. Aaron Phil, Aaron? Phillips, uh, please tell me if I'm saying it wrong or right. I'm so sorry. Um, David is here. RPG, long time no see. Neon mushrooms. Wow, wow. Hey, Aaron. I'm like, I'm like, it's like almost Aaron, but uh, yeah. So five years. Uh, technically, yesterday was the day. Technically. But I decided to not stream yesterday, obviously, because I had my landlord in literally in my walls. Uh, literally in my walls. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, we did hit 13K yesterday, though, as well. Yeah. So that was cool. Also had to wear this shirt today because it felt like it felt appropriate. I just realized my extra chair with my backpack on it totally just cheekily sneaking in frame there oops <laughs> merch plug yeah so yeah the channel april 9th 2019 was the start of this youtube channel of course you might be thinking but the burger man i've seen you on the interwebs since even earlier than that and you would not be wrong because i worked on various other channels and of course like a year before that i had started streaming on twitch and it's crazy to come this way because it's like I started the YouTube channel just to archive my Twitch streams. That was the whole that was the whole point initially. People were like, "Hey, if I miss the VOD or I miss the stream, I want to watch the VOD. Can you archive them?" So I was like, "Yeah, okay. I'll I'll make a channel to do that." And then I just started doing more than than doing that. Yeah, so the chat box, I guess, oh, I see. I fixed it. Look at me. Look at me go, ma. I found the problem, guys. <laughs> You know what the problem was? It was buried. It was under, it was, I had the layers wrong. It was underneath the blue. I fixed it. There you go. So many peeps in chat. Yeah. It's crazy. It is weird though, because I go like, like if you go back to my earliest videos, like you can see the, the, well, first of all, you can see like my hair, my inconsistent haircuts. Like you can see my hair growing long and then short, long, short. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just a weird uh because i'm very bad at being consistent about that but also but also there, there's like a, i don't know i was a younger man once it's like weird to be a, a guy in my 30s now instead of a guy in my mid-20s um and i don't usually feel that different on a day-to-day -day basis but then i go back to watch old videos of mine and i was like ah oh, i was a baby i didn't know what i was doing i was just a it's just a little baby <laughs> just a little stinky baby so i don't know it's weird guys but it's cool and what is cool about doing this is that i do have like 
basically like a consistent, uh, like almost like time capsules. Do you know what I mean? Like it's like time capsules of, of all these moments over the last several years. Burger, bingo, I almost forgot. Also, we've got a few more people drip, dri, dribbling, dr um, uh, trickling into the trickling. That's the word I was looking for. Trickling into the chat. Uh, squeeze 88. Welcome. Thank you. H chat. Hey, good to see you again. Welcome. Welcome. Dribbling. If you're dribbling, you should see, <laughs> you should see a doctor. <laughs> also, Bunny, this is not April 23rd, the anniversary of the first original upload to this channel. Actually, is is the April 23rd the first? Hang on. Hang on. Let's go. Oldest video was Are uploaded. You? Oops, sorry. The audio just started playing. It was very loud, probably. April 16th was the first upload. Technically, you're right. Well, and that, that's not today. You're right about that not being today. You never thought of before. Well, we'll get to that. Sorry, I just, it started, there was an ad and then it started playing. Anyways, that was a video called Why We Love Super Metroid. And the thing is funny about that is that that video, <laughs> that's true, was a re-upload, just exactly what Bunny's saying. So I guess if we're looking like the first original upload, that video was actually made in 2016, so eight years ago. Ay, ay, ay. Now that's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know. But the thing is, my voiceover in that video is so terrible. It's really bad. Okay, wait. First, so you're saying that uh, the first, like, actual upload that wasn't a re-upload. And that, if we sort by oldest, was the video, the problem with the literal legend interpretation of The Legend of Zelda terrible video um yeah april 23rd there it is there it is what a time what a time it was a re-upload because yeah i had um before this youtube channel i actually had three different channels that were like my channels i guess in a way one was mine two were shared channels actually if we're counting those there might have been another one in there Hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, I worked on other channels. I, the podcast for, like, five years with Jesse. That was awesome to do. We talked about that, like, last last stream. We probably don't need to get super into that. And that's right. I was in my prime back then. Now I'm just a grumpy old man. <laughs> or something like that. Coffee. Good. Still drinking lots of coffee today. You know what? I, I, was, I was making coffee... So I have like a coffee pot and what I like about it is it's convenient because I can like set a timer on it at like the night before and then I wake up in the morning, there's a pot of coffee already made and that's great. But then like the last few days I was making my coffee in my French press instead and the French press is so much better. It just makes coffee so much better. You know what I mean? And then, and then today I did it in the coffee pot again and I'm like, mm, it's not as good. I like the convenience, but it's not as good. Um, a couple more dribbling people. <laughs> I shouldn't say that because people who were just getting here missed the joke. Uh, but uh, Seven Sage, welcome. Scared of whiz bangs, welcome. That's the geek mom. Thank you. Thank you for coming by to wish a happy anniversary. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Actually, you're going to be the geek grandma, if anything, now. That's so exciting. If you guys missed Geek's um, video, they're... they're um, expecting and that's just so exciting I had a, her and I were messed I DM'd her the other day and just to wish her congrats and and you know thoughts prayers happy health all that stuff so uh it's exciting stuff and it's it's you know parenting is one of those journeys that are extremely fulfilling but also uh it's like also the most exhausting undertaking that uh that you can ever um <laughs> take upon yourself <laughs> <laughs> nothing will prepare you no matter all the books and stuff I had nothing actually prepared me for the for the actual experience of parenting so I'll, I'll say that much but uh but I, I mean you know my wife my son and I we all came out just fine on the other end of it well not on the not on the other end of it the other end of toddlerhood I would say like that's once you get past that it actually starts getting easier as it goes I think of course now he's a preteen so maybe it'll be harder again once he <laughs> 
enters those teams. Anyways, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, Geek Oma, I love that. Uh, I'm glad you and the fam are all, all really excited, though. I'm, I'm excited for Geek, too. I think she's going to be a great mom. So, uh, you guys, you know, she's, she's she, I don't know. She's smart. She's, she, she's got it. She's a very compassionate person. I think that's, like, the most important thing. You'd be patient and compassionate. Um, yeah, I'm not. T you're right, Bonnie. I'm not on the other end yet. <laughs> not yet. Actually, you know what the scariest thing is? Is that as my son gets older, and he's getting closer to his teen years, is that <laughs> his appetite is booming lately. Like, in a way that it's like flash. Like, when I was a teenager, I was the same way. I just ate and ate and ate and ate. <laughs> So, yeah. Anyways, it's a little intimidating, actually, because that, that obviously slowed down once I hit adulthood. But now seeing it, you know, ramp up for, for the little guy, I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I definitely seeing maybe not so much the hormones, but definitely the sass uh, occasionally. But I always say he gets that sass from his mom anyway. So <laughs> not sure how much it has to do with age versus <laughs> versus genetics. My son's 13 eats like a hobbit. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They eat like a... It's fun. Actually, that's that's a good comparison. They eat like a hobbit because they're small, but they just eat and eat. <laughs> yeah. I'm the sassy one. No, if you if you think I'm the sassy one, <laughs> you are, my wife is the sassy one between the two of us. I think I am definitely... Like, if you were to compare, say, me and my siblings, I probably am the sassy one. But between me and my wife, I'm definitely not the sassy one. <laughs> and if you're watching this right now, I love you, babe. <laughs> but <laughs> don't hold this over me. No, she's she's great. Um, She will not. But yes. <clears throat> hold on. Hold on. I need water. Don't forget to stay hydrated. She's probably not watching this because she's at work. But I do, I do know occasionally she lurks while while working. She does the lurking and working, you know. So we'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny. You guys don't get this angle too much where you can see this shelf. This is my newest shelf. I don't know if I ever pointed it out. But I had to give the, the N64s a, a proper home. So it just made sense to me. It's funny how this room... Okay, so that's another thing. Hang on. I want to I wanna dig up something real quick because I did want to do a bit of like a looking back sort of thing on like just stuff we've done on the channel right I have diligently sorted like all my streams into playlists as we've been going so it should be pretty easy to find some really old streams yeah here's one like I have a playlist 278 streams in it called games that are not zelda so basically anytime i've streamed a game other than zelda it's pretty self-explanatory um <laughs> tell you what, hold up let's see if we got this uh if i got this set up right yeah here we are here i'll just nudge this or uh nudge this over a little bit and we can play put some audio on let me know if I need to adjust that or anything, by the way. But actually, you know what? The way I've got everything set up, I can't read your chats <laughs> like this. Also, oh my gosh, Alyssa with the super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the advice, help, entertainment, fun streams, and amazing content. Congr Thank you so much, Alyssa. I, oh my gosh. I appreciate that. I really do. What I'm going to do is just, um, there it is. I'm going to pop out this chat. There we go. That way I can keep track of y'all and hope that that doesn't cause any issues. Okay. Also, Geek Mom's got to run. Geek Oma, I should say. Scared of whiz bangs. Thank you so much for hanging out. Have yourself a fantastic day. Truly, truly. Okay. So here's a stream from, uh, july of 2019 it wasn't it was definitely not the first stream i have on the channel i will scrub forward that the, the old intro though oh you guys just heard this song playing on the on the stream intro but <laughs> also hey tetra 
and Charles working but lurking. Bonnie coming in also with the super chat. Oh my gosh, y'all. Thank you so much, y'all. I love this dancing lemon guy. <laughs> Lemmy, lemon, Lemmy, Lemmy. His name is Lemmy now. Lemon shoulder shimmy hype. Love that. Look at the old intro though. That takes me back. You know what it was is that there's like a, a generator in Final Cut, the editing software I use, that's like a cloud generator. So I like stacked a bunch of those, tinkered with the colors, had like them fade in and out, put some particle effects, you know, the title, like the name and logo. It was a very easy, but I think pretty effective intro. Uh, oh, and I had like a stars pattern that went behind it too. So it was just a bunch of layers of stuff, but it was like really simple things, clouds and stars and tinkering with the hues. You know, let's see. Oh, it, I forgot. It looped. Oh, this is my old house. Right, of hey, course. Hello, everybody. I'm still using that coffee mug. That exact coffee mug. <laughs> this is my favorite mug, actually. I think I probably use it in 90% of my streams because it's my favorite mug. Also, I'm being on the top right. That's weird. I'm always on the top left now. So funny. So funny. Um... <laughs> debugging something oh yeah charles is working and lurking there's the alert box there it is thank you bonnie you're great true story what's on the mug it's a bear so actually this is a mug this was a set of mugs uh no i actually i don't need new mugs bonnie i have so many uh it's a bear though i have a set of mugs from starbucks because i worked there for many years i have a, an ungodly amount of starbucks mugs and uh, they, there were different mugs based on different um, uh, different brews, different roasts of coffee, right? And uh, this one was for my favorite blend, which was an organic Yukon blend. Um, they discontinued the Yukon blend. Um, so I've got a, I've got about eight you been there the like you are here mugs. I've got a, I've got so many of those, Bonnie. Don't send me more. Don't. <laughs> Please don't send me more. <laughs> uh, Kenya, ooh, see, I, see, you like the, you like a light roast. You like a light one. Kenya is too acidic for me. That's what I find. Actually, you mentioned veranda in the, the Discord chat as well. That one, it's not my taste either, to be honest with you, because those are really light, citric sort of blends. I like the, the more earthier ones like a Sumatra or. Uh, Yukon before they discontinued it. Uh, Cafe Verona. It's a good one. Yeah. Veranda's like the only light one left. Really? It's funny that they named it after a bench, though. Uh, <laughs> this is true. I played Mario Maker levels. This was funny. Welcome to the burger. And I was only able to stream in 720. Also, uh, I had the... I wasn't using Streamlabs back then. Actually, I didn't even... Uh, the whole the whole setup was jank. The whole setup was jank. I didn't know any better. I did not know any better. But it looks like, you know, I want that. fairly clean, I want that. <laughs> all things considered. No. Oh dear. Though I d had like a black border, mm -hmm. it was probably the I had the, probably had the aspect ratio. Oh no, wait, that's. But the, the black border only extends around the gameplay. No. Anyways, I didn't know what I was doing, guys, back then. That's the truth of it. <laughs> the lighting was bright. I was by a window, actually. So that was at my old house. And I essentially had a window, like, right on that, the wall. In f not directly behind my computer, but, like, maybe a few feet to the left. And, uh, yeah. And I didn't know how to deal with my lighting. <laughs> So, gosh, what a time, though. What a time. Let's go back, back, back. You know? What month in 2019 was that? I think it said it, oh, uh, yeah, July, July 3rd, 2019. Also, what's funny is this photo from the thumbnail that I used, that actually was a photo taken in 2019 as well funny enough i think it was uh may 2019 so that's funny that's funny also hey nate is in the chat 
thank you so much for hanging out, man, and popping in. Appreciate it. Did I used to stream on Twitch? I did. I did. I left Twitch because of reasons. <laughs> you thought it was a recent pick. Really? Yeah, this guy right here. That's a younger me. A younger Daniel. Do you know what PS4 or PS5 games that I have streamed? Not that many. I think it might just be those two, actually. I think just Kana and Stray were the only PlayStation games I streamed. I still got the PlayStation sitting right here from when I streamed Stray. <laughs> um, trying to think what else... What else I, I streamed off the PlayStation? I, I really think that's it. Prince of Persia I had on Switch, although that was a multi-platform game. But I did have it on Switch. Um, Stray, yeah. Kena was great, though. I guess Hollow Knight is also multi-platform. But again, I, I had it on Switch. That game, it feels really good on Switch. Like, it's right at home in that. You know? Mm -hmm. I've seen some things in that picture. Uh, it's more like I, here, let me, let me bring up the, uh, uh, the photo here. It's more like, I don't, I don't know how to smile for the, or at least I didn't at the time know how to smile for the camera. <laughs> I think that's the most accurate way to describe that photo. Uh, but I, well, but I had to sneak Greg in there. I had, to, I had to have Greg in the photo. Like, it's mandatory at this point. So. All right. Oldest live streams. Indie World Showcase. <laughs> I had a reaction. Oh, wow. Yeah, Breath of the Wild is on here. Oh, you know what, though? These are three years ago. I know why. Even though this one's older. It's unlisted. Because I unlisted a bunch of streams. Because I was like, these are bad. Garbage. Unlisted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bad garbage. Thank you. A friend uh, slash coworker of mine um, uh, named Tara um, is a photographer. And so she she did some photos of, of me and the fam being f familial with each other how many thirsty comments you'd see from denny in these old streams oh um many probably probably i don't want to get too into like the old streams because they're long you know <laughs> um so i tell you what we will get into i have to also keep reminding myself to not look at this camera to look at the main camera um Okay, I was just pulling up, sorry, my Discord DMs because Rin sent me a bunch of clips that I wanted to, to pull, pull up on here. But uh, Alyssa also messaged me asking about gaming chairs. Um, so over the year, I'll, I'll say this, uh, right, I technically don't have like a contract with them or anything. I got this chair through Jesse, um, who for his channel, we had a sponsorship deal with eWin Racing. Um, and so the sponsorship deal was talk about the chair, do an unboxing um, video slash assembly video because you have to put together it's like friggin' Ikea or whatever. <laughs> it, it was actually pretty easy to assemble. Um, and then, and then, hey, free chair, right? And I was like, I could do with a free chair because I was using actually this chair. The one that is my bag chair. I think we all have a bag chair, right? <laughs> Slash a sweater chair. Um, I do have a, I do have my Splatoon locker on the shelf here. Yeah, I do, Bonnie. That's a great notice. Hang on, I'll, I'll pull that up. I'll finish this story in a sec. I'm just going to uh, show you this. It's, it is, it is, um, my wife um, got this for me. Uh, for Christmas, not last year, the year before, but it is a, at least at the time, a fairly good recreation of my locker, of my locker specifically in Splatoon, uh, with the stickers, my little squiddies, even my dually squelchers, my main weapon in there, um, and the posters I had. Of course, I've changed my locker in the game since then, 
So I've kept the red specifically because of this one. But yeah, yeah, it was just a neat little piece that she uh, she got. She's so thoughtful, honestly. She's so great. Um, what was I saying about the chair? Um. So yeah, anyways, I don't have a contract with you or anything, so I can speak my mind and be honest with it. Um, if you can, I would say don't get the chair. Don't get the Ewan chair, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, just because they're very expensive. And uh, like, honestly, the first time I sat in one, I was like, this is the most comfortable chair I've ever sat in. Um, and uh, I think part of the that opinion was tainted by the fact that the first time I sat in an Ewan chair was at the E3 show floor in 2018. And I had been on my feet for hours. Like, I don't know if you've ever been to a convention. You're on your feet for like hours. I think any chair, I think a, uh, any chair would have felt good. You know what I mean? But they kind of, they, they had a section on the show floor that was like, these are, you know, Ewan chairs. Come check out the chair. See how comfy it is. Oh my gosh, it's so comfy, right? I think it was just getting off my feet that was comfortable because I also remember, you know, plopping down on the floor floor of like a cement floor and finding that comfortable in comparison to uh <laughs> standing around they totally tricked me anyways what i have found is that it's uh over time it's deteriorated uh in some areas uh the cat has scratched up it is but but the, my point is the ewin chairs are very expensive and um not that good for you your like back or posture or anything like that um what you're better off doing actually is just getting a good office chair. If you can pay the same price for a good office chair, that's what I would recommend. And that's probably what I'm going to do once this chair bites the dust. Because again, it was like for, for a free chair, it's great. But for a chair you're paying four or $500 for, don't bother, you know? Um, so the uh, office chairs are great because they're designed to be sat in for eight hours at a time. Uh, to keep people who work in offices on their asses and working, right? Um, so, so that's what I would recommend getting. A, a, ironically, as a, as a, as a gaming chair, because um, the 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 evilness behind uh, uh, corporate culture is that you need to stay in your seat and work. Uh, but the benefit of that is that they make those chairs so good that uh, you know you can do that comfortably and not like have back problems and stuff. Um, so, <laughs> so do that instead. Yeah. Get it. Uh, Charles bought, got an office chair for 200, for 200 Canadian dollars for the la uh, last three weeks. It's been great. Excellent. So glad for you, Charles. I get that's, that's a great investment. Honestly, you could, you could, yeah, you could probably pay like half the price for a good, for a really good office chair as you would for a gaming chair and it will serve you way better and last way better and honestly let's be honest with you like like they look a little silly let's be honest <laughs> i guess it, it depends crazy scott like how good of a chair it is too right like like take take what i'm saying with a bit of a grain of salt i'm not a chair expert uh, but i do remember that like when i worked in an office um you know pre-covid days um, the office chairs, I could sit in that chair all day. Uh, and I worked 10 and a half hour days, uh, often at the office there. And, uh, yeah, those chairs were honestly pretty comfy. So, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and comfy, yeah, com ibuprofen and comfy shoes definitely recommend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you if you already have like you know pain in your in your back and stuff, then then I definitely would not go for the gaming chair. Um, that's just me. That's just me. I just realized I've had this like hoodie on the back of the chair. Probably been there for weeks now. It's an illegal hoodie. I'm not supposed to have it. <laughs> I won't tell you where I got it. Actually, I actually have a few of those. That's actually not one I got from Chum. <laughs> I have my ways. I have my ways. Okay. All right. Hold on. I was going to pull up these clips that Rin sent. And there's a lot of them. So hang on. What I'm going to try and do is open them in some new tabs. Children. Tell you, Rin, actually, if I just pull up 
if I just pull this up, I guess it's only just the clips. It's probably not a big deal if these show on screen. I won't, I won't, um, you know, show our private conversations. <laughs> it's just, it's just the, that's the wrong one. Okay, here's the first clip. That Rin sent me. This is from Twilight Princess Dream a year ago. Oh, no, two years ago, I guess. A year and a half, maybe. Oh, yeah. Children. <laughs> I smell children. I mean, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear there's context to that. <laughs> I smell children. Oh, my goodness. All right. Uh, here's another one. Oh, yeah. That's... That's a butthole statue. <clears throat> I mean, uh, uh. I swear there's context to these. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I, I promise. Oh, my word. A, not the butthole statue. Okay. All right. Um, let's see what's next here. And then they pull stupid shit like this. Oh, yes. So, uh, I don't know if anyone who ever works at Kotaku ever watches any of these streams, but you're a fucking clown show. <laughs> That's why. And then they pull stupid shit like this. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, the lack of context does kind of, does kind of make it better, to be honest with you. Let's see. What's this Can one? This is a kind of recent one. <laughs> yes. It works. Yes, I can. <laughs> can I do it this way? Do you know what? That's the great thing about Tears of the Kingdom. Like, real talk. Real talk. Great thing about Tears of the Kingdom, honestly, is that it's one of those games where I'm always like, I wonder if this will work. And then it always works. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just always works. Um, oh, shoot. Uh, that was this one. So, let's see. Frog? 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 So, that's the dungeon. Frog? 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 <laughs> that's an important one. <laughs> okay. So, just yeah. a GameCube Zelda... And this was recent. Zelda, I can see. But those were That's really low Cube quality. Zeldas, actually. Like, those two. were essentially ripped. Why do I have the... Yeah. Two... Well, one was a cross jet, like, <laughs> the ball, anyway, yeah. So just yeah. Again... <laughs> I was very confused about the balloons. <laughs> Honestly, the balloons were very, very confusing. Wait, was this the same? So oh, that's the same the game... one. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Let's see. There's this. This one shows up just like this. It's a small clip. Just gonna be small. Children. Oh wait, no, that's this is the all right, this is the same. That's weird that they okay. It's weird it showed up like that. That's cool. Hang on, let's go into the Discord server because I think we can literally just search like clips. Or maybe just clip. Let's just search clip and see what we can find. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is a recent one as well. <laughs> All right, little the Darren clipped. <laughs> no! <laughs> I murdered him. Okay, we're going to reload. <laughs> I thought he would go farther. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, that was a very recent one. Oh, my goodness. That poor Korok deserved better. <laughs> frog? Frog? Oh, my gosh. Oh, here's another frog one. Frog? 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 Okay. The <laughs> that's, that's a... Believe it or not, a different clip. <laughs> That's a different clip. <laughs> For 
from a different video. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That's a classic. Frankly, that's a classic. Oh my. All right, let's see. Hold on. We're just going to just going to scroll on through. Let's see if we, see what clips we can find here in the Discord. This is a frog one again. Oh, I think this is the same one as frog? before. Frog? Yeah, this frog? is the frog? first one. Frog? 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 So, that's the dungeon. All right. <laughs> that's the same one. Da, 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 da. Let's see what else we can find. This is ridiculous. There's a lot of clips that are that are unrelated, just because we just talk about a lot of nonsense. There's a victory dance, apparently. That's what the clip uh, is called. Can, no, there wasn't. Go ham. Go ham. I love that. Do a victory dance. I did win that race, actually. <laughs> there you go <laughs> this was quicker than i expected uh you can no. that was okay so that <laughs> that video was part of a um a uh a crossover stream where we had several other youtube uh zelda youtube people creators uh competing <laughs> i won the race though i was very i was very pleased uh, also, oh, okay, sorry, I, I missed a couple of people trickling, or should I say dribbling into the chat, just, uh, just leaking in, uh, Nathan, hey, welcome, man, that's, that's, by the way, guys, the man responsible for Greg, um, and the frog, by the way, for people who want to just say, like, hey, man, thanks for Greg, um, do, 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 who else, uh, Rabbit got in the chat here, who is different than Bunny, uh, Paco, also, hey, Thanks for the coming in channel membership, Paco, by the way. I need to add you to the end card. Um, I didn't do that. I'm so sorry. Hubs, hey, are we married? And I didn't know that. I didn't know. I didn't know. But <laughs> thank you for thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. And stay stopping in and that you enjoy the videos. Yes, I can. Oh, that's the same. That's one we already got. That's one we already watched. Not the shrine I expected. Okay. Let's see what this clip's about. Enema shrine? <laughs> no! <laughs> Why, is Why is it called that? I'm sorry, that's an Oma. <laughs> oh no. I forgot about that. Oh, that's not the Raru's blessing I was looking for. I forgot about that. Oh no. <laughs> uh, okay, well I'm glad I'm glad that's <laughs> <laughs> flushed you down <laughs> flushed you down the whirlpool <laughs> so the name does fit you're, you're not wrong <laughs> that <laughs> is dreadful but oh, hilarious no. not the enema shrine <laughs> oh gosh Link please don't ascend up there okay let's see about this one what's up with this one <laughs> Link, don't stick your head up there. <laughs> oh, Link, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Anywho. Also, hey, Souls in the chat, too. How are you? How are you? Glad to ha glad to see you. Glad to have you here. Uh, you came just in time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. What a time. I clipped something called Game is Haunted. This is actually Rick's stream. H him and I did it. This is a separate race from 
the other one. This Hello? was a Breath of the Wild race. I don't even know if I want to talk to you. Oh, we're running. We're running. That was creepy as all hell. Oh. <laughs> that was great. Also, Retro Guy coming in with the the membership renewal. Thank you so much, Retro Guy. It's great to see you, dude. Great to see you, guy. 23 months, though. Bruh. 23 months. That's incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you so happy five years. I appreciate that. Five. It went by fast, honestly. Five years. Very fast. But also kind of seems like such just something that's ha been like the case forever. Do you know what I mean? It just feels like like it's always been what we do. I don't know if that makes sense. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I found an important one. I found a very important clip. Okay. I wonder if we can bring the mic in so we can hear it. She got some purrs going. I wonder if we can bring the mic in so we can hear it. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. Look at that. That's a, what a beautiful cat. I cannot. I cannot. She's she's the greatest. She is. That's an important one. I'm glad that's immortalized. Tbh with ya. Ginny Cam two is another. Okay, there's two Ginny Cam clips here from Darren. The Darren clipped. Yeah, there it is. There she is. <laughs> Say hello. Say hello. This is more important than the game, I think. I need a vacuum in here. Okay. That's the clip. All right. That's the clip. Let's see. Ginny Cam number two. Let's do it. Let's see if this works again. There it is. D -d -d just ignore my sock. Ginny. Ginny. Love you, baby. I'm definitely bothering her. She's definitely annoyed. <laughs> yes, she is. That is the truth. My grungy floor. Okay, so I have vacuumed since then. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, no. What's this one? It says beautiful NPC. Oh, this is I not mine. I try to exude this in all things, not least of all my own beautiful appearance. Someone thinks highly of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. There's one, the bee hole statue that we've seen that one. We did play that. Frog, the frog clip again. That's so funny. That, that it keeps, the frog keeps coming up. Okay, this is a cursed one. Tingle Times, Volume 3. Tingle here is that little boys and girls. <clears throat> little boys and girls who behave get to meet a fairy here. Perhaps, perhaps if Tingle does his best to be kind, <laughs> he may meet a fairy face to face. This is awful. <laughs> This is terrible. <laughs> this. <laughs> Here's a good deed. I'll put up roadsides. Uh, some of the storms up that way. And then left. And then up. There's a strange cave. And some of the houses left. Hmm. Praise my God. That is, frankly, a nightmare. And that says volume three. Were there two more Tingle Times clips? Oh, this was the sniffing one, isn't it? I'm pretty sure this was the sniffing one. Children. I smell children. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, no, there was context. 
Just Wolf Link sniffing things. Oh, this looks like an old one. Hold on. This looks like an old. This is a Twitch clip. I'm going to complain. Um, excuse me? You, you doing okay? You, are you doing okay over here? Um. <laughs> the answer is no. Um. <laughs> She's not doing okay. Oh, no. I guess you could shoot those arrows at me. I won't complain. That is terrifying. Also, why do I have Twitch in light mode? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This one, this one's for Bonnie, okay? Man, I understand. Torpedo fish. Torpedo fish. Shoot out of a purple pine cone. Okay, not quite. Not quite. Torpedo fish. Torpedo fish. Swimming through the sand. Thank you. What a fantastic game, though. Man, Ori is so good. <laughs> Man, I understand. Ori was such a good game, though. So, so good. This one's important. I just want to show them the black beam. No? No? <laughs> Come on, we want to see. We want to see. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> she is. She's not happy. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. And then she goes to sleep. There you go. <laughs> <I just can't>. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then she goes to sleep. Oh, you haven't played Ori 2? It's actually, like, somehow even better than the first game. I, I don't know how they did it. The first game was already a masterpiece. But somehow they improved on it with the second one. Because I felt like the combat was the, the like, big weak point of the first game. And so they were like, yeah, let's actually make a really good combat system. And then they did. And then they did. Everybody wants to see you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look. Okay. Everybody wants to see... That's a very short one. But that was an important one. For sure. For sure. Questions? That's all the ones I can find in Discord here. I'm sure there are others, actually. If we just go to my Twitch channel, my Twitch page, I'm sure we can find clips. Uh, clips. Let's see. Really old clips. Show all clips. There's one. Oh, no. <clears throat> That's one where I'm just eating a banana. This is a favorite of mine. couple though. things. Everybody remember the Wii U? Just remember how great the Wii U was. And it had the menu and it's like... <laughs> it's just... <laughs> That's the... Everyone has a hidden talent. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my hidden talent uh here's one it's money my god it's just money that was a perfect spot to put a heart container and they did not do it They could have put it. They put. A, they could have put a heart there, and that would have been a very good feeling heart place, place to put it. <sighs> <laughs> I didn't even like. <laughs> what was that sentence? <laughs> Is this how I talk? What was that sentence? What? They put a, they could have put a heart there, and that would have been a very good feeling heart place, place to put it. And I don't even bat an eye. I just keep going. I just. <laughs> <laughs> a very yeah, a very good feeling heart place to put it. Place place to put it. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? 
No arm for you? What's this one? No arm for you. I don't know what I expected. That's... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> he just oh, bonked no. me. He just bonked me to death immediately. <laughs> they they could have they could have put a could have could have put a good feeling heart. <laughs> I don't know. I was probably very tired <laughs> and just, and very disappointed that it was just money. Oh my gosh, what is this? It says so good. Okay, let's see what this one is. Oh, so good. It's so good. It's it's so good. It's it is so good. What is the context for this? <laughs> What was the context? I don't even remember. It was four years ago. Give me a side. We watched that one. We watched that one. Oh, this one is... Uh... Luigi, no! <laughs> That's the one, Ren. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, no! I like how so Tube was streaming this with me, <laughs> and it's just her cat. <laughs> Actually, this was before she had uh, Midna and Sarah. I think I think this is just her roommate's cat. <laughs> so <this is laughs> I was very upset. <laughs> I was I was very upset. Oh no. So it has come to this. Okay, let's see what this one's about. <laughs> it's like it's like those that I wish I were a dude because then I just freak them out with my cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? Chew out of context is worse than me out of context. Okay. Ah, uh, this was a hard level. A sp I fully didn't even jump on one of those. I just hovered through it. Okay, I missed the star. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, the good news is that... Oh, now I understand. Uh, <laughs> now I understand. The people... Relax, stream. The people want it. Ah, uh, they do. What's this one? I'll be coming round the mountain when he comes. He'll be coming round the mountain when he comes. He'll be coming round the mountain. I'll be coming round the mountain. He'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Okay. I have no explanation for that, to be honest with you. <laughs> I, I have no explanation. Here's something that won't work in Tears of the Kingdom, but did in Breath of the Wild. I know this one. I remember this one. I don't know why Zant's helmet makes you unfreezable, unfreezable, but unfreezable. It makes you unfreezable. Unfreezable. Okay, dude, I'm just trying to. I'm just. I'm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No. No. <laughs> I'm oh. so glad they added that you can, like, actually get on the dragons in, in Tears of the Kingdom, though. That's so great. That's so great. <laughs> oh, dear. ASMR Daniel. Okay, well, this one just is the... says normal quest. Let's see, what's... Ha <laughs> ha! Right. Like, fighting a giant centipede monster, right? That's not reckless at all. Okay, wait. I'm just gonna put some water in your soup here. Why did I do this? Just pretend that went in there. No. <laughs> not in the grandma's soup. Wait. Ah, this is the one time I'm not gonna break all the dishes. Okay? Just gotta be nice to grandma, everybody. Be yeah. nice to grandma. Grandma deserves better. Okay, what is ASMR? ASMR Daniel, let's see. You can do it. You deserve it. You deserve spaghetti. You you deserve spaghetti. That's the whole clip. <laughs> 
You do deserve spaghetti, though. It's true. I, I, I'm still aligned with that. I'm still aligned with that. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What's, let's do a Zeldor. Wow. That's too many arrows. I feel like one would have been sufficient. And if someone does clip that, please send it to me, because... Because that's funny. <clears throat> All right. It wasn't that funny. All right, uh, let's <laughs> let's move on. It was not. It was okay. Here, I wanted. Oh no, I remember this one. Okay, this this is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. Where were we? Where were we? What the fuck did I just do? <laughs> I I wanted to hit save. I no. I think I just. Yep, yep. <sighs> what happened there was I was I was uh, I was streaming a link to the past. Obviously, I went to hit. I meant to load my game, and then I created a suspend point instead, like an idiot. Not an amiibo. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this is. Pokemon were here. This is not an amiibo. This is an amiibo. What the hell are you saying? This is an amiibo. That is, this is 100%. This is a Mario am amiibo. This is a Mario amiibo for this game. <laughs> what are you saying? This is the one that it shows there. Okay. Try that again. <laughs> okay. That that worked. That worked. Yo, Mario Odyssey is a great game though, but that was weird. That was a weird one. Not an amiibo. The Handman story. Alright, you know, I should open this in a different tab instead of just like clicking back and I would just Imagine scroll. Imagine you're in a dark room all by yourself. You feel faint wind. Suddenly you feel a pat on the back. <laughs> yes. It is him. The hand man. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, good old Mr. Handman. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Ginny says hi. We saw that one. What is this? That's what Denny said. Uh oh. Let's see. What what was it that Denny said? All right, open up. I want to get eaten. Oh. <coughs> good. That's it. All right. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> how we all how we all feeling right now, everybody? <laughs> Do you feel horrible? Do you feel horrible? Because because <laughs> you should. Maybe no. Maybe you shouldn't. I kind of wish. I don't feel like these are organized in like a good way. To be honest with you. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Luigi? Denny Luigi? You call me a Luigi. You're a Luigi, Denny. You have bad intentions. Luigi has bad intentions. Fair enough. Fair enough. Crossbow, kill everyone? What? I'm just gonna have to kill everybody. That's my new plan. There might have been context to that, but I don't know if there was. There, maybe. Maybe. What was this beautiful mom? Evil capped, right? Dark Burgerson. The uh, Poe sisters and Tamara Glass fought that. Oof. Feels bad to be Gavin. I'm proud of you, son. <laughs> uh. I noticed with a lot of these clips 
a beautiful moment. I noticed with a lot of these clips that the audio was not like, it was like a little out of sync, you know? Which is not good. <laughs> Cap explains the meaning of life. All right. What was the meaning of life past me? <laughs> oh, no. There's no sound. <laughs> There's no sound. There's no sound. Oh, hi. We're back. <laughs> oh, no. That is perfect. That is perfect. Okay, wait. What was the Game Award one? Let's see. Those graphics look like a mobile game. It's, uh, it's a good point. That's what Feeny looks like when she comes out of the toilet. Mm. Dermatologists hate her. What is out. this? <laughs> this is like one of those 4v1 games. Like Friday the 13th. We Twitter don't get head. to know the title. It's in... Oh. Alright. That was the bit. It's time. Oh, I remember this one. So this was part of an Animal Crossing stream we did. It's time. Is it just frozen image? <gasps> Here they are. Back in Animal Crossing days. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <clears throat> it's creepy aliens. It's like if you think it was like a specific time of the night, it was like 3:33 3, a.m. or something. Incredible. <laughs> where they oh, no. would show up on the TV. <laughs> Gus is crying back here. And Paul's like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Also, hey Joseph! Glad you could be here. Glad you could be here. Oh my gosh, we have a 1000 sub celebration. Oh, okay. Let's see what let's see what this clip is about. There's a throwback. That should do it. I was really hungry before the stream and I got home. I ate a bowl of chow mein. Two bowls of salad. Wow. And, um, what else did I eat? Oh, Kelsey's leftover ice cream cake because she took a lot and she was going to keep eating it, so I just took it and made it for her. Uh, also, AJ just gifted a sub to Krusty. Thanks, you guys. I know that technically means that AJ should be naming another plant, but because the sub's going to Krusty, Krusty can. <laughs> I feel like that was not. I feel like I, like I was like thrown in the middle of a conversation with that one. Not as much a laugh on that one. Oh, this one though. Someone, if people are on the top of the waterfall and they're like, "Where's the shrine? Where's the shrine that's supposed to be up here in the waterfall?" You can say, "Oh, it's down there." <laughs> <laughs> There's, you don't. The shrine's not over. At the top of the waterfall, now it's, it's down air. <laughs> that was the worst possible scenario for that clip. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Okay, let's see. There's a clip here called Existential Crisis. Let's see what that one's about. Mm. 
I don't know what that was. About. I was upset about something. There's some despair there for sure. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. Oh no, there's a baby. Let's see what this one is. Oh, he's so cute. There's a baby! There's a baby! That's it. There was a baby. Look, there's a little axolotl oh, so baby. There's a baby! I was so excited. There's a baby! So excited. There's a little axolotl baby. It's so cute. <laughs> Nothing happened. I just randomly had an existential crisis midstream. So just a normal, normal Tuesday or something, you know, <laughs> just a, just a typical day, just a typical day. Oh no. Oh, he's doing it back. No, Jebby, try to use his dumb Jebby. Jebby doesn't have any PP. I know what I said. Don't worry. Those are powerpoints, by the way. <laughs> Look, it's in, it's in the HUD. It's in the HUD. <laughs> it's the same in Pokemon. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I realize there be <laughs> there will never be another good Banjo Kazooie game. That probably was the existential crisis. That probably was it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, he's ignorant. Let's see. What am I ignorant about? Unfortunately, I'm ignorant. <laughs> we will never know what I was ignorant about. <laughs> just, just that I am ignorant. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's see, there's a clip here called, That's a Good Grilled Cheese right there. Got a great um, grilled cheese sandwich press, like a sandwich press. I like to put some butter on the nice ancient grain sort of bread. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. stick it in the sandwich press with some old white cheddar and Havarti. Mm -hmm. now that's, a good, that's a good grilled cheese right there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. There are definitely some peculiar titles in some of these clips. Let's see. Like this one. This one is the thickest of boys. The thickest of booties. Have you have you ever seen a juicy thick kick we ass <laughs> <laughs> such as this? Uh, never finish that. That <laughs> those are words that came out of my mouth. <laughs> those were words that came out of my mouth <laughs> Not the, it was the, oh god he was a big boy though let's be honest so if a female pirate got breast implants that would be pretty funny wouldn't it <laughs> okay <laughs> I'm done <laughs> These are the joke. The le half the lead up of the joke isn't there. The joke was because you know pirates they get like, you know, uh, like wooden teeth and stuff. Right? <laughs> they lose a leg. A leg gets amputated. They get a wooden peg leg. Right. <laughs> this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mostly. Mostly. The life lessons I can impart. Whoa, heat is hot. Heat is hot. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just surround him with flames. Yep. Uh, this is fine. You are trapped here, though, Mr. Korok. Uh, oops, sorry. The sound got weird there too. 
Oh my gosh, the the Samus returns and the flashbacks to fighting Diggernaut forever. Cause, cause what happened is <clears throat> there was some kind of glitch in the game. I wonder if there is a clip from that. But there was a glitch in the game, and I was I was like perpetually stuck in that fight for like so. I think it probably took me like two and a half hours to get through that fight. It was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Just, just ridiculous. I'm seeing here anything else. Wet teeth sounds... Okay, let's see. With feeling bold. Some pretty terrible, terrible clips. <laughs> That's not how you do it, by the way. <clears throat> That's not it. That's not the way. Oh my gosh, all the way back here. I can't make this jump, can I? You know what? I'm feeling bold. Let's just... <laughs> Let's just press the wrong button. <clears throat> Let's just... Okay. Let's try... That... <clears throat> that was a pro gamer move. Um, yeah, it was an emulator issue, like Bunny says, where it was not the game itself. Just the emul the the, <clears throat> the voice cracks. Have you ever heard a thirty man thirty year old man's voice crack? Now you have. Now you have. Odyssey is a really good game though. It really is. It really is. The woodpecker man, I am glad to have not seen the woodpecker in a long time. There was a woodpecker that used to haunt my streams. Just haunt them. I'm surprised that there's so many uh, clips here like this one. This was two years ago. I was sure that I had stopped streaming on Twitch by that point. But I guess I hadn't yet. Yeah, <laughs> very true. Very true. Also, hey, Randall, thanks for being here. Game flickering. Okay. <clears throat> Flicker warning, I guess. Only of many of them. I, I didn't see the flickering. Many of them. I don't know what that was about. Okay. Weird. 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 Man. I didn't realize how many clips there were on the, on these old Twitch ones. But alright. Here's what we're going to do. Is we're going to go back to... YouTube. There were some exciting lyrics. They really were. Let's look at some old things. Some real old videos. Get ready to criticize the way that I make videos. I'm going to do that. Oh. That might be a bit loud. Okay, so... First thing to get out of the way is I apologize for the sort of uh, lack of scriptedness uh, for this video. I should have just written a script. <laughs> How about that? How about that? past me have you considered just writing the script also just sliding through to say congrats on five years thank you so much Cato. appreciate that why don't i sing anymore i feel like i do sing on but this is stream something. still sometimes at least right yeah no glasses uh it's because i didn't know i was blind clearly i didn't know i was blind because i thought this was an acceptable video quality you know <laughs> i wanted to make a video about for some time and I guess um, I just felt now was the time and I didn't want to sit down and write a script so um, I'm just kind of winging it if there's anything I get wrong I will uh, I apologize for that of course feel free to leave me a comment about that if <clears throat> you know what that's still true I always look tired without glasses like even now like, hang on, if I make myself big, I always find that, I don't know. I think the glasses hide 
my bagginess, the bagginess of my eyes, to be honest with you. So, <laughs> so that's probably, or at least maybe, maybe make them less noticeable. But I do always, I think I, that is something that has been a constant pretty much my entire life is I've always looked tired. Uh, and the reason for that is because I'm always tired. So, <laughs> I'm just used to, yeah, no, <laughs> I'm just teasing. Um, yeah, I'm, I've definitely gotten used to it, honestly, because now when I see like old things like this where I'm not wearing glasses, I'm like, eh, it doesn't, it doesn't look quite right. It doesn't look quite right. It's like, it's not me. I don't know. If that's the case. I don't know. But um, basically, let's hop to it. I don't know. I started playing this again. I didn't switch back. There is a subject that's been uh, catching my eye a lot over the last, let's say, decade or so. And that is a not necessarily a theory about the Zelda timeline. I actually, sorry, I'm going to be pausing this a lot. In a lot of these old videos where oh sorry i meant to hit oldest a lot of my oldest videos i'm just talking to a camera like this and that's fine a lot of youtubers do that and stuff right a lot of creators do that but i do find it is just like less interesting i'm really glad i've moved into just having recorded footage for the most part because like and that's not always the case of course but uh but like f f in this instance I don't know. It just, it, I feel like it, it makes the video less dynamic, less interesting. And also, I didn't even have a very good camera to begin with. I think I only uploaded in 720. So, you know. More so an interpretation of it. And this is something, the term that kind of has been coined about this is the literal legend interpretation. The, I have nice glasses. Thank, thanks, Tetra. I appreciate that. Thank you. I think, I think I picked a good pick of, of glasses as well. So, you know, this video is is 14 minutes long but i'm talking about the gist of it is the literal legend theory which was like that there's no every game is just a retelling of the same story and it's a literal legend and like i don't like that it's silly <laughs> it ignores a lot of stuff kind of just rant about it though but i do remember a lot of comments a lot of them uh great comments really positive comments even from people oh look here's joseph I see you, Joseph. <laughs> I remember one guy uh, found his way to this video through like Reddit, and he was just um he was just uh, you know just so silly about it. He was just so silly about it. Why did I pause my face like this? You know why. <laughs> No. So what is the literal <laughs> legend interpretation? Well, uh, let's break it down here. This is something when timeline theorization comes up a lot. This is some... See, that's why you need a script. <laughs> thing people throw at me quite a lot. And this basically is just a disregard for anything that is in the realm of timeline theories. And I find it's something that a lot of people who maybe grew up with a lot of the earlier games bring forth and say, like, hey, I was playing Zelda in the 80s, and this is what I think about it. So, so uh, what is the literal legend interpretation? Uh, well, it is pretty much what it sounds like. It is the interpretation that there is no Zelda time. Ooh, old Skyward Sword footage. It is a footage. literal legend of Zelda, and that all of the games are a legend and often a retelling of the same story and as with legends and retellings details can change so the legend is that there is you know bad guy ganon there's a princess zelda and a hero i don't want to watch this anymore <laughs> to, to be honest with you i don't think this video it's such a boring theory that is it too right it's just like the theory is um no, nothing matters essentially no th continuity doesn't matter that's the theory and and that wrong, rubs me the wrong way you know what's a more fun one to watch perhaps e3 vlog you can't find the greg origin stream you know what i actually know which one it is so so let's let's see i'm gonna i'm gonna find it for you You were two of my views on Spectre Torment video. That's a that's a throwback video. 
the least views. Oh. I, here it is. Because I put Greg in the thumbnail. How irresistible. We're going to watch an ad for Cheez-Its. Oh, here it is. Greg, calm down. Hold on. Well, first of all, well, the stream was glitching for a second there. Hang on, let me go back a little bit. I was apparently at the right time. I was probably... Uh, I probably went back to rewatch that part. Let's see if I just uh, scrub back a little. There we go. Woohoo! <laughs> this is my new horse. We'll call him Greg. <laughs> there we go. And legend was born. What a moment. <laughs> the guardian hunting already a buck. Oh dear. Oh hi Cass. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Just imagine Cass is talking to the to the buck here. Uh, no, you cannot register Greg, unfortunately. Greg is unregisterable. <laughs> just okay. Just imagine this is Cass talking to Greg. Oh, I didn't think anyone was around here. Okay. Oh, <laughs> knew we'd meet again. Oh, I never imagined it would be here. Yes, let's hear the song. Much more pale. I think that's just what the lighting, Randall, to be honest with you. Thief that wears a crown of bones prancing through the lush green. Mount the beast upon its throne. For only then will shine the scene. He looks kind of derpy. <laughs> yes. Uh, what could any of this mean? What could this mean? <laughs> hey, come on. Come on, Greg. There we go. Perfect. Go. Good job, Greg. <laughs> Cass is just talking to Derp Greg. Oh, dear. I can't believe Rin called Greg's face derpy, though. For shame, Ren. For shame. For shame. Of those not here. <laughs> it is blasphemy. <laughs> this camera angle, though. Man, we're gonna... I'm just gonna sit back and get a more comfy... Get a little more comfy here. beautiful he is he is beautiful oh you know what doing that i cross into the the corner of the clip all right greg no, wins this time greg, calm down. The video going weird there okay it's going weird <laughs> I'm Greg. <laughs> I'm a good egg. How how are you today? My name <laughs> my name is Greg. I'm the hero of this story. <laughs> Never my, forget. My story started many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> my story is a sad one <laughs> i don't know what's going on with it <laughs> but i guess i was trying to like to hear i will tell. stretch out the video or whatnot and it was like glitching on me or something or something i don't know i don't know this is a classic there was once a hunter out 
in these woods and I lost my mom in a forest fire. And <laughs> and there was this rabbit his name was Jonathan. Jonathan? He was an okay guy. Joseph, did you know you were a rabbit? We we weren't the best of friends. Now you know. Now you know. Oh, old Greg. Do you love me? Won't you play your love games with me? I need to know because I need your love a lot. Oh. <laughs> this is insanity. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm old Greg. Do Not like old Chris. Do you? Do you ever drink Bailey's out of a shoe? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh dear. I hope. Uh, I hope we've all learned something here from this experience. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Goodbye, Greg. I set you free. And You're he's off. free now. <laughs> the origin. Oh, dear. Cass's music made that all the better. When Greg sings along with his creations, wouldn't Jonathan be among the choir? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. A new Breath of the Wild playthrough? We haven't even finished Tears of the Kingdom playthrough. We haven't even finished. We haven't even. Okay, I want to I wanna recheck out this E3 vlog. Part 1. Terrible thumbnail. But... Go oh, I am. Let's, let's start at the start here. This is a vlog video. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I said you should do. I this said you should hold it like this. Oh, this way. This is <laughs> when you edit it. <laughs> oh my god. It's too late. Okay, we're gonna fix it in post. I didn't even fix it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're doing this again. This is a vlog video because... Oh God, the sun, the sun is here. Exists. This angle is what's gonna happen. So this was People said they want it. June of 2019. Oh my gosh, what a throwback! What a throwback, though. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was thinner back then. <laughs> so we're at the airport now, and I ate a bagel. It was fine. <laughs> so <laughs> it was babies. I made a horrible mistake, and I ate the top half first, and that's the better. That's the better half. The first Tears and of the Kingdom trees. That's the tees, trees. We got like trees. We Ever means. Recording. Yeah, like the like first tease was then. 45? 640? Uh, no. I'm going to watch. I could just look at that. Yeah. It's like 645. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> Making me do the hard work. Oh, God. Kill me. Okay, now we are on an airplane. That's it. We're on a plane. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Good it's vlog. a very eventful vlog. With parts of it recorded in the wrong aspect ratio. We lost to Luigi in Mario Party. This 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 Luigi rabbit hole goes farther than you know, <laughs> farther than we ever knew. <laughs> also, geek who can't hear what I'm saying. Hi, enjoy teaching. Thanks for coming by, and thank you so much. Also, I'm just gonna refill this coffee here. Don't mind me. Luigi, no, exactly. Exactly. Anyways. This might be when we first interacted with... Oh, outside of the Hylian Games cast. Was it? Really? What do you remember? Because it's all a blur for me, to be honest, Bunny. <laughs> no captions. Why? I'll always pour next to the mic just for you. We'll be, we'll be grounded soon and uh, then we're gonna go meet up with Jesse and Gibbs. We 
get it off the plane. Probably would not record on a plane again. For, for those audio reasons. Could not even... Could not even, like, make out what I was saying. The game store that wouldn't sell you a thing you wanted because it was his personal collection displayed at the store. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I'm sure that comes up in the vlog. I remember. I was like, that's so silly. We are now in LAX. Hunting for a friend. Game over Jesse. LAX is such There's a huge airport, so, too. Let's see if we can find him in a timely manner. And Gibbs is stuck in Phoenix, Arizona, so who knows when he's gonna show up. Yep. Anything to add? Nope, other than there's so many people. There are a lot of people. I should I should just watch where I'm walking, really. As it turns out, this is a too big an airport. So we're gonna just find it wherever he is. Instead he's down. Very vague. Much Very. appreciated. <laughs> I remember this lady on the escalator in front of us was actually really, con really um, annoyed with us. <laughs> True story. Right there. There's a donut place around the corner. Definitely. He's right there. Pre-pandemic travel, right? Yay. Outside. She was calling 911 on you guys. We're trying to find <laughs> she was calling 911. Hey, this, this guy's vlogging at the airport. <laughs> Call the police. <laughs> no, I'm white, so I could get away with it. Um, <laughs> Pre pandemic travel. What a time. For real, though. For real, actually. I think she was just annoyed because we were talking loudly. I don't think we were talking that loudly, though. Just that we were like talking, I guess. I don't know. I don't I don't really remember why or whatnot. But I do remember getting dirty looks from her. <laughs> so you know. Gibbs. It was apparently a terminal one. And the thing with LAX is that it's a mile away. It's yeah, basically it's it, the airport is a city in itself, basically. You have to go around. You can't just walk straight to it. Exactly. So we're gonna find Gibbs. His flight was delayed or something, and then he took them eight years to get off the flight. Now he's trying to get his baggage, and we were waiting at the wrong baggage claim on the wrong end of the airport. We were at Terminal 7. Yeah, I can That's add. at least six difference. Hey, and I can yeah, embiggen it a right? little. Go all the way around a little. Find him. So maybe less, li less than that, though. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I can't. Uh -oh. I can't walk. This is why you're supposed to watch where you're going, kids. Instead of vlogging for... Yeah, reasons. I don't know how to end these. The whole vlog is wandering around LA, right? Right? <laughs> Jesse never talks loud. We made it to our Airbnb. Our Airbnb host made his wait outside for over half an hour before letting us in the door. <coughs> but oh, I said a bad word. <laughs> I think we had already started drinking by that point, by the way. <laughs> Just to put that out there. But the, the host for Airbnb was like this <laughs> um, very kind lady, but she did make us wait outside for like way longer, way past the check-in time. And we were really tired from all the travel, you know. And, uh, and she had this sign... I don't remember if we ever show it in the vlog, but she had this sign in this house in the house, and and Kayla had done, uh, Tube had done the booking, the actual booking on Airbnb site for it. So she wrote, she was like, Kayla and friends, uh, you are most welcome. And but she wrote, she wrote it like. She didn't write you are most welcome. She wrote like you are, most welcome, like a, h, you are most welcome, <laughs> and and we. Every time we'd like someone would say thank you or something, we would we would like for the whole trip we'd say you are most welcome back to them. It just became this whole running joke. It was really strange though. 
Got to start working on the script. Yeah. Yeah. For our, for our scripted <laughs> Pax vlog. I'm not yet decided on if I will vlog that trip, by the way. I have I have yet to decide. But um, because there's a part of me that's like, especially if I want to, for, for, for transparency's sake, especially if I want to write it off on my taxes next year, <laughs> I should make content f through it, right? Um, but also, but also, there's a part of me that was like, you know, I also just want to enjoy the trip too. So I'll probably, I'll try and find a healthy balance. I'll do some vlogging, probably. But uh, your first video, that's exciting. That's exciting. I'll probably do a little bit, but not like an out outrageous amount. This one's 35 minutes for part one, but only 60 minutes for part two. And I think that was because the pre-E3, I was just vlogging constantly. And then during the actual E3 for part two, I was just enjoying the show floor and stuff and there was a lot less a lot, a lot of standing around in lines and stuff so anyways our, our airbnb host made us wait outside for like half an hour before letting us in but hey we're here now our phones are all plugged in and charging because we all all our phones died uh it's been a long day it's or, or i'm already kayla and i are already like almost 13 hours into our day uh jesse and gibbs are basically like 72 hours into their days <laughs> so uh, we're basically well we're gonna hang out with we saw cliff uh downtown earlier today and then we're basically gonna hang out with just gonna relax for the rest of the day but anyways but not relax but not relax <laughs> dying on the couch he's, he he's here trust me he's he is here so He's probably here. At least his ghost is here. I don't know. Hey, what's up? What's up, guys? We are currently having coffee. <laughs> so we're at day, we're day two now. Um, Jesse, just get in here. We were yeah. we are now at day two. Uh, we Although just it had a. Like you were filming the girls that, that is exactly what it looked like. <laughs> oh no! No, there were some people walking by on the other side there. Oh. And I just put my phone up. As soon as they walked by, Daniel went like, Yeah. <laughs> Today. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> as these people are walking by, I'm like. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that would, like. I'm totally just focused on what I'm doing. Totally not paying attention to my surroundings, apparently. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Uh, this is going to be lurking in and out. No worries. No worries. No worries. Seeing tubes get hyped for Borderlands 3, which definitely lived up to it. Definitely. You know what I'm saying. Oh, tubes. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. You're con. You're oh my gosh, y'all are great. Also, hey Chris, welcome. You've always been you to me. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> you've done a good job of infusing your content with your personality and staying cool. Blessed to have started my own journey because of you and Jesse. You're so great, Chewy. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. There's you're so sweet. Even if half of this vlog is like me making jokes about you. <laughs> Chub, you are most welcome. <laughs> All right. We're gonna probably do the podcast later today, and then I don't know. We're gonna figure. We're just probably gonna hang out. There's a Starbucks and a Chipotle very close to our where we're staying, so you already know it's gonna be a good time. Um, Jesse, what do you yeah. have to say? What are we gonna um, do today? going to podcast eat at chipotle we oh we kept saying we were going to do the podcast and then we didn't we never did that podcast <laughs> it never happened <laughs> it just didn't and that was like a running thing and and i think everyone was just too tired constantly we're like ah oh, we'll do it later we'll do it later and then we didn't
there's a part i just realized that there's a part of this video that i'm gonna have to mute for copyright reasons because i put copyrighted music in it <laughs> oops find some sort of beverage at starbucks that i may or may not like oh well, yeah story time so we tried to get jesse's first coffee experience he didn't like it so we got to explore those options a bit more <laughs> so didn't work out i blame kayla it was her recommendation kayla it's all your fault. Huh? It's, all was... your fault. it's all your fault. It's all your fault. It's all. She had no idea what was going so, on. Great. There's my chin. Around downtown LA, looking for a Game Stop. Game Shop. Sorry. What? I kept saying Game Stop instead of Game Shop. She's just like, hi. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, Kieran, I also hi. Welcome. I also was planning to go to E3 2020 because I did E3 2018 and this and then this vlog is 2019, obviously. Um, so that was the plan as well, and then it never happened, and now E3 is dead. Rip, rip in pieces, alas. And Kayla's made us walk around in circles several times. The address does not seem to exist. It did exist. We it just, just didn't. The, we're looking at the addresses and it just, it just skips the right number. So we're all just confused. We're trying to, trying to figure stuff out because we want to just scope out the game shop. We're in Skid Row. I'm gonna be honest here, guys. Downtown LA, it's a weird neighborhood. That's all I'm saying. Hey, Cliff, where, where's the store at? We'll also, it out. Tetra, Probably. I Hi, love you. Kayla. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll catch you later. Isn't that what we want as gamers? To be disappointed? Absolutely. That's what we want. That's what we want. We'll figure it out. Probably. I blame Kayla. What? <laughs> You've been our guide and it's all your fault. Uh. <laughs> hey, we're back at the... There's a lot of being at the Airbnb here. And then I talked about the game store, which just basically what Bunny said. They didn't have, they had a bunch of cool stuff, but none of that was for sale. And the only stuff that was for sale was not because, because it was like the owner's personal collection and stuff w w was on display, but not for sale. Let's scrub for this is a long video. This is a lot of us talking about games, about games. I would do this vlog Scooter differently today. Um, for the unacquainted. Oh. So, <laughs> so Gibbs is trying to figure out this how the scooter thing works. Um, for the unacquainted. Oh. Is that? What are you drinking? I have no idea. For the unacquainted. And I'm just vlogging. With these random scooters. <laughs> um, that are like, you pay to use them. <laughs> Girl cannot sit still for, <laughs> for two minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then you just ditch them wherever. <laughs> and oh, he got it working. They have these scooters in my city now. There we go. So at some point we want to try and gather four of them up and then just have like a scooter squad just for picks. Oh my god. He's going away. <laughs> oh my goodness. So uh we we just had dinner. We're going to mosey back to the Airbnb. We were going to that's a that's a classic. We did not do the podcast. We met up with Cliff. Though okay, I'm gonna actually skip this part because it's cool. We are. I'm gonna mute it. I put in some copyrighted music, and I shouldn't have. Lesson learned. The group energy is is chaotic, but but here's Jesse having a little bev, a little bevy. You care? And just some photos we took. Some good photos. We took some... Some... We had some beverages. <laughs> and we saw Game Over Greggy. And him and Jesse had a wholesome moment. Jesse does not like coffee. It's true. He does not. You know, there's one part of this vlog I really want to find. Oh, yeah. We went to that art museum. That was cool. That was sure cool. Kayla's piercing hurt there's one part of this i really want to find oh here it is here it is here it is here it is okay
hope that's not too loud. The Bethesda Conference. Alright everyone, I am here at Bethesda's conference, finally. There are so many people here and it is awesome. You guys can see all the way behind me. I'm gonna go see if I can find a drink somewhere. I've already seen a bunch of super duper semi-famous people, so hopefully it'll be good. Hey guys, so um, the Bethesda conference just ended. We didn't get to go, but Jesse did. He got to go. Right, this was a thing. So we went as a group, but only Jesse was invited to the Bethesda conference. Because <laughs> of course he was. Because of course. There was a uh, open bar there. So he's, he had a great time. Jesse, tell us about who, who all did you get to meet there? What'd you see? I met Gibbs. No, I at, the, at the Bethesda. <laughs> We already know Gibbs, though. I met Nintendo Brett and Colin Drunk Jesse Dorian. is wholesome Jesse, yeah. though. Some metal guy in Grimecraft. Yeah. I got invited to a party that he was DJing. Oh. But I don't remember where it was. Oh, great. And there was a dude I was sitting beside that was kind of cool, but he was in the wrong seat because he was drinking too much. Uh oh. And I'm then, what's his name, Jesse? Um, Jesse, how many margaritas did you have? I had three. Three? What else? <laughs> I had um, a gin and tonic. Uh -huh. And, and, uh, uh, vodka. And, and a, uh, a Coke and something. Did you try that whiskey sour? Yeah. Yeah? How'd you like that? It was sour. Oh, so, so we got all the liquor details. Tell me and about I the got, games. I <laughs> got a, a Coke and champagne. Okay, so that's an interesting choice. And then they gave, I don't know what it was. Did you, uh, did you, uh, see any good games there? Did you yeah, like the games? Yeah, they showed off a bunch of games. You wanna go play them? We're gonna, we're currently gonna go back and get some dinner. It's over there. <laughs> it's like the fourth time he's asked me. Oh god. <laughs> we're gonna get some dinner. They had free drinks. Oh my god. <laughs> Over there, with the games, we can play them. Did well, you get to play any of them, or? No, I walked outside and I seen her. Well, you, again, you you asked us to come pick you up, so that's why we're here. Yeah, and I'm really glad we came here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I don't know if you'd make it home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. Well, stay tuned, folks. <laughs> we're gonna. We're gonna get some food into this, into this handsome man here. We're gonna get you some dinner, Jesse. <laughs> I had drinks. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he, he had a lot of details on the liquor situation. All right, I'm gonna start a poll here, guys. And what, here's also, hey, Seventh Hokage 894, terrible timing. We're about to go to the bathroom. We're gonna do a bathroom break, guys. I'm gonna create a poll for what we should do next in the stream. So just, we can go with even older content to review, like pre this channel even. More of this, if you're having a good a good time here with this. Or we could play a game. Keep in mind, we could do all, all of these things. So I guess it's just like, what's, what's first of those things? So I'm going to start a poll. Go ahead and vote in the chat there. And everybody go pee. We're going to, we're going to be right back. We're going to BRB bathroom break. So, excuse me. I'm trying to get, I'm going to, I'm going to get all my burps out while we do that. So everybody go pee. I love you. We'll be right back after these not messages. We're not sponsored, but I'll, but I'll run an ad, but we'll be right back.
Wow, uh, that was actually very perfect timing. But, welcome back, friends. Welcome back. Um, so, would you believe I don't have a smoothie today? I do have a fig bar, though. And I got some oranges. They're just tiny little baby oranges. <laughs> They're just little babies. Little baby oranges. No, I know. It is it is shocking. Uh, the reason is uh, my bananas are weird. I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> the bananas are weird. Like, it's like... It's... I don't know. Uh, so the poll results are in. Um, like, okay, so the weird... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. The bananas I wanted to use for the smoothie, we got them from the store. They were, like, green, so we're like, okay, it's good. We got some yellow bananas. We buy some green ones, and then they'll be ripe for, you know after we finish the other ones the 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 bananas went straight from green to brown like like they didn't they never hit the yellow part they just went straight green like straight into brown and i'm like i don't know what's wrong with them no one has bigger hands than just <laughs> it's a normal size orange i just have big hands maybe 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 they're the little cutie oranges they're good oranges, though, to be honest with you. But yeah, anyways, it's it's really thrown me, this whole banana situation. It's unnatural. <laughs> uh, but alas. Might accidentally block me with these thumbs? You will never block me. <laughs> never. Uh, the poll results are in favor of, let's play a game. That's just fair enough. I mean, really, you guys could seek out watching old content um, anytime. Uh, but let me know what game you do want to play. Uh, and we can definitely play something. Remember when Tentra muted someone's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she did do that. She did do that. Um, before we do jump into a game, Rin said, can we see the reaction... The group from the Tears of the Kingdom tree. So the can we see the reaction of the group for the Tears of the Kingdom teaser first? Yes, we can do that. We can do that, and then we'll jump into a game. While while you all suggest games, we'll do that. I don't remember what the rest of the vlog is about. We went to some stores. We saw Cliff. I lost Jesse. We found Jesse. Oh yeah, we went to we went for drinks. Feels making us vlog everything. Oh, that's neat. With some other people. Dinner and Bev's. With some with some YouTube people you might recognize. It was a very fun dinner. That's Josh, but you'll definitely recognize some other people at the table there. Let's see if this Jesse was recording this. Let's see if he pans the camera. Let's see. Let's pause. We got. Oh yeah, I put their handles on screen there. There we go. Got some. Got some people we were at across the table with. You know, having a convo. Okay, I think the uh, reaction you're looking for, Rin, was in the other video. Oh it my was... god, guys. The Nintendo Direct is over. I'm freaking dead. Okay? They gave... Okay. They... <laughs> I don't know where to start. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Um, did I not put... Oh, you know what? It might have been right at the end of part one's out? video. It was. Okay, here. That This part might be loud. Wait. Yes, it was too loud. Oh my god! 
that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what a different time. Man, what a different time. It was such a... It was so loud. I'm so sorry. I, like, turned it down. <laughs> so, so sorry. So sorry. It was pure joy. It absolutely was. Absolutely. Ah. Uh, what a time. What a time. Um, here, we will. Oops. I'm dropping my orange peels. Guys. I'm so bad at this. Just tuck that to the side there. Let me just let me just plug in my capture card real quick here. And we'll switch over. Because y'all said, let's play a game. That was the poll results. I forgot. Hang on. Let me just. I forgot I had this open. Let me just. Can y'all hear that? Ginny, I am upstairs. She do be meowing. She is really meowing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to hit end poll here because uh, the votes are in. That was part of E3. So so what it was is that was before they did they they did the direct before the E3 show floor opened that day. So we watched the direct and then we went to the E3 show floor uh after pretty much right after that. Um that that's what happened. So she, she's she's so such a loud cat. Um <laughs> uh so the they didn't have an in-person conference for it uh, essentially. Um yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can hear the cat meowing. Oops, sorry, sorry for the doggos. Sorry for the doggos. Yeah, she's a very loud cat. Okay, so I I brought up um Mario Kart as an option, and then there's also there's always you know Jackbox and stuff. Uh, so I I have games. I sometimes play them. Just 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 fire off now. Just sound off right now. What games? Uh, you want to see or want to play and then we'll play them darren says jackbox easy pick for darren easy pick for darren rin says rin is down for mario kart the the part of why i suggested that actually is because um just because we haven't done it as much on stream at least you know what i'm saying but jackbox is old or is always good because anyone can just jump into it you know what I mean? Uh, which is always good. See, so there's a, you know. Your oldest video that I watched was Super Metroid. So <laughs> you think I should stream Super Metroid? You know, maybe I will one of these days. Uh, I mean, I have streamed it probably, like, start to finish three times. But, you know. You know what I'm saying. So you vote Jackbox. That's fair. That's fair. Let's do that. Let's let's do... Well, Equip Flash is always a good one to start with. So we'll we'll jump into that. We'll start with that. Um, I am. Boom. We're gonna switch here to over here. Then not super. Yeah, yeah. Definitely like a game to together too loud so sorry about that so so sorry so 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 sorry you'd think after five years <laughs> i'd have this figured out right <laughs> you would think but no i hope none of you were wearing headphones and had to like scramble and throw the headphones off I really hope. Okay. Orange peel. Just gonna open up the old. What's it called? Oh, I have 12 Discord miss d notifications. What is happening? I'll check that later. 
All right, we're gonna go to jackbox.tv. And let's open a room. And anyone who has a device, SSCB is the room code. Uh, anyone who has a device, a phone, computer, or tablet, anything with an internet connection and a browser, you can go to jackbox.tv, enter the room code, and join the game. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say volume's better, I hope. Let me know. I can actually turn it down even a, even a little more. If need be. Speaking of way too loud. Ginny! Ginny, we're in here, in the office. Come here. Come. Here she comes. Here she comes. Hello, baby. Everyone's so happy to see you. You smell like fishy. Did you just eat some fishy? I love you, even if you're not happy. But you do like these pets. Don't you? She's the sweetest. Oh, I think we found the spot. Oh, yeah. Oh. Sweet girl. Are you lonely down there? It's all good. Okay, well, we've got a full room. Here, I'm just gonna let her uh, sit on her spot here. We've got a nice full room. So I'm gonna hit everybody's in, and we can start the game. We got some great... Okay. Don't mess up the blinds though, please. <laughs> She's going to try to look out the window. <laughs> Greeting, and welcome to Quiplash. Guys, don't feel like you have to be extra funny to impress me. My expectations are already very low. And Perfect. remember, anybody watching can affect the game by voting for the best quips. Just use the room code at any time to join the audience. What he said. And now, now I'm way overexposed get two with the lighting. Device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses, or quips, will be pitted against someone else's, and everyone will vote on their favorite. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Go! Alright, you're gonna get prompts on your device. Pay more attention to your device than the stream, because there will be a delay. All right, splat daddy, splat daddy. Is that Bonnie? Bonnie, are you splat daddy? <laughs> I know that's your name in Splatoon. <laughs> you think I should turn the volume back up though? I missed that part, so I'll turn it up to, let's see, I had it at minus 30, minus 25. Seems like a good spot. Yeah, it's me. Lots running out. Think fast or use a safety quip. How did I know? How did I predict this? Let's start this show. Up first, what's that blue liquid in Magic 8 Balls? Okay, Splat. pick your favorite. Or blue Kool-Aid. Very safe to drink. 
or splat. Don't forget to vote. While you vote, I open a fig bar. Cause it's me. I win. I knew it was Bonnie that wrote splat. Of course it was splat daddy that wrote splat. Next on the list, a clickbait headline about cows. About cows. What a mood. Ready, set, vote. Oh, there's a <laughs> click here for sexy single cows in your area. I almost feel going back to this camera is better because of the lighting situation. So we'll just deal with the angle being weird. Moving on. Cool. Why are printer ink cartridges so expensive? Okay, vote. <laughs> Placenta is a frankly confusing answer. <laughs> oh, it was a safety. That's why it was confusing. Inflation, though? That's good. Coming up next. That's a good one. A good use for an old CD tower. Get to voting. Jenga. Playground for cats. What is this? A playground for ant cats? Not ants. For cats. Well played. <laughs> Okay, next one. What do you wish you could say to yourself as a high schooler? It's voting time. <laughs> There's something very funny to me about the idea of someone going back in time and just saying to their, <laughs> their past self, armpit stubble, with no context, with zero context whatsoever. <laughs> like, like going to your past self and just like whispering in in Next in their problems. ear while they sleep. Sometimes armpit stubble. Wishes he didn't wear such a skin tight latex <laughs> suit and instead wore blank. And that's it. <laughs> no context, no explanation. Oh dear. Sometimes Deadpool wishes he didn't wear such a skin tight latex suit. Instead wore a hot dog suit or only the mask and one sock, not on his foot. Oh dear. I'm so sorry, Soul. Honestly, I like the hot dog suit, <laughs> to be honest with you. I'm a big fan of the hot dog suit. Next in the hopper, the name of a conference where internet trolls gather. Mm -hmm. Vote on your devices. Troll con or opinions. Fact or fiction. It can anything can be fact if you believe it hard hard enough. Say with enough conviction. Oh! I'm so sorry, Rin. You have been demolished in this in this game. You have been annihilated. Is something you shouldn't say to a mafia godfather. Why wouldn't I? Go Load away. <laughs> Goblick yourself. Go get goblicking. <laughs> yes. For the Rin rise. For Rin to rise from her ruins. Of this <laughs> game. <laughs> Good old goblicking. That's round Great one. Gobs. Let's take a look at the scores. Licking. <laughs> Here comes round two. Uh, round if you two. Round one, but thought all the points should be doubled. Have I got the round for you? Perfect. All right, time to answer some some quips.
Perfect. Burger was in the lead? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. And I didn't even use the goblet in answer. But I did vote for it. Great gob licking. And I'm gonna eat more of this big box. Time's running out. Use a safety clip if you need it. Because it's delicious. Except I put it in my pocket as I was coming up the stairs during the bathroom break. I got a little squished. Oops. It's the price to pay. Let's see what we're working with. First one. A good use for an abandoned mall. Hmm. Okay. Oh no. I'm gonna vote paintball out of sh out of sheer principle. <laughs> because that's nasty. Also, it actually would be. A, a paintball would actually be really fun. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. <laughs> Thank you for your contributions, Joseph. <laughs> and next, a good name for a fictional town in Australia. Vote now. We got Wally Biberg or Down A Shrine. The shrine is Down A. I like Wally Biberg actually. Wallaby Berg, sorry. Wallaby Berg. Wallababy. Wallababy. Wallababy Berg. I don't know how to read or write. Wallaby Berg. P. Sherman. Next one. A really dumb round table discussion. He's forced to Wallaby Way. Sydney. A really dumb round table discussion would be about the best cereal mascot or if Wolverine was. <laughs> if Wolverine was circumcised, would it grow back? Sleep. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh gosh, these are both <laughs> awful grandparent-related death jokes. Uh, next, oh my gosh, these are. Uh, I I was like too stuck on this one. I don't think I even voted. <laughs> my brain was broken. I'm sorry. I would, I would, I want to have that discussion though. Next. I want to say it would. For a morning talk show. Time to vote. Terrible name for a morning talk show. It's all broken. That's what I'm voting. It's all broken. All of it. Oh, that's a knockout. Next on deck, a full string toy of this player would definitely say blank. Put in your votes. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, it's funny because these are both things that Darren actually said. <laughs> but damn. <laughs> Ligma awareness. <laughs> Your next prompt is the easy way to start a fire is to rub a blank. I concede together. that's the best answer probably in this whole game so it's far. Voting time. Oh my god. Your mom's plural? Well played with that one. <laughs> Ligma awareness. I'm not over that. I'm not over it. Next in line, the worst excuse for ditching your date. Okay. Vote away. The TSA holiday. Sorry, I'm not a goblet addict. Or the TSA holiday party. 
Sorry, guys. I just want to adjust this real quick here. Rin is rising. It's true. You forgot you made that your Wii U status. And now you can't change it. It's your Wii U status forever. It's immortalized. <laughs> And that's beautiful. Round two is through. Let's see what it did to the scores. Ooh -wee. Big hands man rising to the top. Fair enough. Well, well earned, to this be honest. This is round three, the last lash. Everyone's taking aim at the same prompt this time. I think she's trying to open the window. Jimmy, what are you doing? Make up the full name for this acronym. <laughs> She's pawing at the windowsill. Okay. Come up with the full name for this acronym. This acronym is C-A-L. All right. All right. We got 15 seconds on the clock here, peeps. I think I have a smidge of coffee still left. And when I say a smidge, I mean really a smidge. You cheated on this one? For shame. All right, here's the board. All right. You get three medals to award to your top three quips. Oh, wow. You your gold, silver, and bronze Oh, wow. Medal. Oh, wow. There. Can aliens love? Can't authorize Ligma. Capt always laughs at you. Center, awareness of Ligma. Calling all goblickers. Can't ask Luigi. Charity for l awareness of Ligma. And Capt Bergerson. That's me. Wow. Wow. There's some, there is some, uh, some overlap in ideas here. <laughs> That's what we'll say. <laughs> There's, there was some overlapping right, ideas here. Soul, we were Our aligned first. on this. Here's the silver. And gold. Oh yeah. Let's translate that into points. Well played, everyone. Well played. Charity for awareness of Ligma is the winner. <laughs> That's all. Now for the final <laughs> scores. Frankly, the stars aligned perfectly for that joke. Honestly. <laughs> Just... And really, I don't deserve the win because I only remembered about the Ligma awareness thing <laughs> because... Because Joseph made the joke first so i was really riding on the coattails of that one so so shout out joseph gg everyone who played thank you thank you for thank you for playing this was this was fun let's play another game okay let's play another game that was great but the idea of that there was a charity <laughs> they go door to door to, door to raise ligma awareness it's, cl it's classic. Ah, uh, you know what? Actually, I've got. I, I I'm a big fan of Drawful. I quite like that one. So I'm just gonna make the executive decision of just going for it. Let's just do it. Ginny, you're pulling the curtain open, and then everyone will see. I'll become vampiric. Everyone will see how pale I really am under the harsh natural light of the sun. She does not care. She said looking out the window is a big priority for me. And I get it. I get it. Dra 
awful. That was weird that that popped up there, of all things. All right, let's get a room code. Connecting. The room code is two. And now you know. Good morning, sir. Have you heard about the current state of Ligma? <laughs> We're raising awareness. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. to draw yourself a little portrait. Hello. There's my beautiful portrait. <laughs> I'm, I'm not good with drawing with my finger <laughs> struggling to keep up all good Joseph and Allie also gonna sit this one out fair enough guys well that gives us that leaves two free spots for anybody viewing that wants to get in the game feel free to hop in that is an amazing try <laughs> Well, thank you, then. <laughs> there was uh, an approach to it. I think, uh, you know, uh, there was definitely... <laughs> These hands and drawing on the small screen don't mix. I think that actually would make it, make it even better, to be honest with you. I think, I think that would enhance the experience. Because it's, it's like I say when building in Tears of the Kingdom. The jankier, the better. <laughs> the jankier, the better. You're drawing with a mouse yet again. We need to get Rin a, uh, a tablet with a, like a stylus. And then she would destroy all of us. I, don't, I think this is one of those games as well where it's like... Uh, you're not meant to draw well. Actually. You're not, you're not meant to, <laughs> you're not meant to do good. You're meant to suffer. We all suffer. I can't, I can't, I, it's too bad I can't uh, undo it. There was no like undo button in this game as well, I think. I think that's, that's also uh, adds to the jank. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit everybody's in because I don't wanna wait, I'm impatient. Earlier we learned I was ignorant, now we've learned I'm impatient. Well, 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 I see it's time for some drawful. You know, I've heard six people is the ideal number for this game. I don't agree. Let's have some fun. Wee. Okay, I've sent a prompt to each of your devices. Something kind of weird. I don't know how to draw this. Poetry or haunted bread box. Draw a picture on your device that would have that title. And when you're done, hit send. You'll get points for each player that can correctly guess your title. So, have fun. I'm definitely drawing with stick figures though. I, <laughs> this is a horrendous drawing. But I really have no idea how to do better. All right. <laughs> Absolutely, you can join next game. Absolutely. For now, anyone else that's watching, you can join the audience using the room code. T-U-U-O. 
and then you can vote on things in the meantime. It's like when you get an abstract concept and then they're like, draw this, and you're like, huh? <laughs> huh? Yeah, no rush, of course. Your prompt was amazing. Oh my gosh, okay, can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it. to type in what you think the real title for this picture could have been. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what? I and here are your choices. I... The real title. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. The 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 choice of red <laughs> is really what threw me, to be honest. Select an answer. Here are your picks. Or it looks red on my screen, at least. Gambled and lost. Bonnie's a very PG answer. Horrendous. Just <laughs> bading, bading. Oh, see that? I was like, that's so perfect an answer. Because they're like, ah. That's the prompt you got. Scared shitless, I think, is, is like amazing, to be honest. Um, anyways, well played. Well played. What okay, is it? The next drawing, type in a title now. You only got two colors to work with. <laughs> it made it look like a bloody. A bloody mess. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this one. This was my drawing, so I'm not gonna submit a thing. Here are your choices. All right, what is it? Everybody vote. I'm gonna give some. Bonus likes. Let's see what people picked. These are great. Jazzy sax guy, all right. Sexy sax man. He is a sexy sax man. <laughs> Smooth jazz was the actual thing. I was like, how do I draw smooth jazz? I guess it worked. Well played. Mm -hmm. Up next. <laughs> what? <laughs> what am I looking at here? Just as a disclaimer, this is not meant to be a political stream. Um, oh. Also, I don't think you're supposed to uh, put words in your answer either, <laughs> or in your drawing. Come on, typing time is almost up. And 
Here are your choices. All right. Hello. So, fun story. Fun story. Oh. I actually yeah. typed in okay. my lie answer, yeah. and it told me you can't put that because it's the real answer. Oh. Nice. Or, or it said something like, too close to the real answer or something someone else was already put. Biden in pajamas? With a question mark? Pajama president. Too political, Darren. Pajama president's first action Consider yourself canceled. Consider yourself canceled. I'm just kidding with you anyways, guys. <laughs> Sleepy Joe was a really good answer, though. But I was too slow typing it out. What is a pajama president? Oh, you know. You know exactly. These hands are not canceled, and that's good. And I bumped the microphone. I'm so sorry. Hey, I'm serious. <laughs> Oops. Time is up. Oops. Okay. Here okay. Are your choices. What is it? I hate bacteria. I hate this potato. Happiness. Angry pickle. Angry at a pickle. Or angry pickle. This is such a strange game. Picks. Also, welcome to stream Kitty Gerudo. Yeah, this is uh we're just working with what we're given in this game, honestly. <laughs> I hate this potato. <laughs> thank you, thank you for voting <laughs> for my silly little answer. Ah, angry at a pickle. Honestly, I'm very happy with I hate this potato. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's... <laughs> this is a good one. This is a very good drawing. This is a, this is great. I'm impressed with this one. No more <laughs> Oh no. Please no more <laughs> I'm I don't think it's the real one, but I love that so much. I just imagine this guy at a bar and he's like, alright, that's it for a night, and then someone shouts, Next round's on me! <laughs> he's just like, oh no. Please, no more rounds. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I thought maybe it said ketchup on the bottle. It's a very good drawing though. Like frankly, this, this was really well done. Please, no more <laughs> Shots of ketchup. I feel like ketchup shots was really close to that. To be honest. You did not get the ketchup thing? It said on the bottle. It said and on now, the bottle. This one. Sicko play. I've never heard of that person. But, um, sure. I'll sound, I sound just like him. 
I'll, I'll accept that, I think. What is it? Oh. <gasps> what is it? My Steve Martin impression. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <gasps> it's a character, a square character, a square actor, if you will. And here are your picks. I'll accept that. Jesse Margarita. <gasps> well played. Friendly margarita. I can't spell. I'm sorry. I'm illiterate. By the way. Happy hour. Bidding, bidding, bidding. This is a good one, buddy. My Steve Martin. I get it. Steve Martini. Minecraft Steve. I get it. But I wouldn't have guessed that. I was like confused by that one. <laughs> Steve Martini. Okay, it's drawing time again. It is drawing time. Time to draw. That was not a good drawing. All right, but I did draw it. Just not well. Oh. That is the thing. Like sometimes there's no way to draw that prompt, right? You just gotta, you just gotta do what you gotta do, or what you can. Just do whatever you can. It's better to draw something nonsensical, I guess, than than draw nothing at all. Thirty seconds left, y'all. Let's. much as I want to keep them to myself. Let's all take a look at the first They one. are definitely ridiculous noises. And now, another drawing. That's a drawing. Yeah, this was mine. I had no idea what to do with this. So, uh, just... That's, that's it. That's the drawing. Gonna have to deal with that. Oh. Hurry up, people. Just type It's also the in. end of that coffee. You wish you could take yours back? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's too late now. Okay, here are your choices. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> I 
<laughs> you just realized what animal it is. You put Chef Kitty, face. didn't you, Ren? Pocket money. Well played, Soul. Well played. Also, hey, Pixel. Good to see you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Monkey in my pocket. That was the drawing. Excellent. I want a pocket monkey and a chef kitty. Enter your titles. I agree with that, Allie. I don't know what is. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> to be honest with you. But, uh... But we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna go with it. That's a phrase? If it is, it's new to me. Uh, Jackbox Games. Yes, it is. It sure is. Interesting. Interesting answers. Which one's the real one? Oh. I like that there's thunderstorm and thunder storm. Okay, who picked what? You know? There's th thunderstorm or thunder storm. And knife thunderstorm. <laughs> Storm Cloud. Thunderstorm. Right, right. Wait. Storm of Knives? Is that the correct answer? Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> that was a tough one. And yes, I did put Nacho Volcano. I don't know why. As you could, hey, I'm not here to judge. I don't know. I don't think I could have drawn that better. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Let's change a little. Oh, there's various. Uh, like they're they're like packs of various games. So this might be a different one than you played. Mm hmm. Block of butter. Behold! Yeah. This man said, Behold, block of butter. Hand fan. Oh, yeah. Fan, if you will. <laughs> Yellow card. <laughs> Selfie duck face. It makes sense. It makes sense. Type in a convincing title now. All right. What are we looking at here? Me knocking stuff over, that's what. Hello. 
All right. Now we get to see just how wrong I am. <laughs> hey, I'm up. Okay. And here are your choices. Happily going to smack you. I love my standing desk. Desk. Libel. Churning butter. Very happy day, churning butter. And happy paddling. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I <laughs> I don't know. Oh, come on, pick one. Oh, wow. oh. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I didn't vote for it, but yeah. I'm I'm gonna say I'm your picks. big fan of very happy day churning butter. <laughs> Libel is a good answer, honestly. I love my standing desk. It was me! Thank you, audience. Churning butter. It's a very happy day, churning butter. Was the actual title? Oh, that's shocking. Actually. That's very surprising. I'm 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 shocked. Type in a title now. Uh <laughs> What now? What? What? This is, this is frankly the best drawing we've seen yet. Soul goes hard okay. with these drawings. Here are your choices. Birthday suit. That's gotta be it. Right? Right? Risky business. Wink. No. Incorrect. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> give, give me that vote. Oh, I was convinced that was the real answer because that's so perfect. Dead snake necktie. Okay. I don't get it. But what I... Why is he in his underwear? <laughs> I was sure that was an important part of it. <laughs> Enter your titles now. Did we just... Put... Did we just put him in his underwear just because... <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> that's amazing that is amazing i can't even didn't even know where to start it's all good come on taking time is almost up we'll find out i guess Here are your choices. A cat doing a slam dunk? Nope. Is this Darren's? Melting Richard Nixon. Dots of rain. What? What? I'm gonna say. And here are your picks. Dots of rain, because that's gotta be the one that's hard to draw, right? Never mind. I was like, which of these which of these would be hard to draw? Is it melting Nixon? Can you imagine if that was it? <laughs> if the game actually put is this Darren's? Hello. 
Is it Melting Nixon? Is that the answer? That's a plot twist. That's a plot twist. Bunny wins. Well played. How do you even draw that? Darren got the most likes. I guess, I don't even, I'm not sure. You have to be good at drawing Nixon specifically. And then you melt him? That's all I got. That's all I got. Okay, folks, friends, peeps. We're gonna keep this stream going for another approximately an hour. However, before we do anything further, we're gonna take a real quick bathroom break, slash snack break, slash do whatever you gotta do break. We'll be back in just a few moments. If you do, so choose to use the loo. Don't forget to wash your hands. All right, we'll be right back. BRB.
Welcome back, folks. Hope you had a relieving little break. I hope it was a good time. This is incorrect. Um, <laughs> this is not supposed to be right in front of my face. Okay, welcome back. Soul has to go soon. I've so loved having you here, though. Appreciate you hanging out. Pixel already had to go. Pixel, thanks for thanks for coming by and saying hi, man. Always love to see you in chat. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yashonov. Yashonov. I hope I said that right. Tell me, please do correct me. Feel free to. Um. Welcome. Glad you can make it. I'm glad. I'm glad. All right. Well, folks, we are. Let's switch it up. We played some drawful. Bada bing. Bada binga. I would love to play Fibosh. Because this is a good one. It's a classic. A classic. Mm hmm. All right. Now, before we do Fibbage, actually, I, I don't think we've done bracketeering on stream before in the previous times. I think we've done Civic Doodle. I don't think we've done bracketeering. I kind of just want to try it because I don't remember how it goes. But now I'm like looking at it. I am rereading the rules. And I'm like, mm, was this one kind of not that fun? That's what I'm thinking it is. It's just voting on random things. Well, I mean, all of it is voting on stuff, I guess, really. A lot of these. Screw it. We'll do Fibbage. Because of reasons. Um, if you have just got here, you don't know how any of this works, you can join the game by going to jackbox.tv on any sort of device that has a browser. I'm entering in the room code, which is GMBS, as in good manly booty service. I need to rethink that one. <laughs> I need to rethink that one. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna rethink that one. Good morning, bullshit. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yes, we're gonna go with that one. Let's go with that one. <laughs> uh, Lisa is a little Zelda bish. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. I need, I, that is something. Thank you for clarifying because we do, we will need to know who everyone is because all of the questions will be about each other and ourselves. All right, we have two spots open still. Get on in here. It's first come, first serve. And if you still can't get in, you should be able to still join the audience and vote on things. And voting is good because of reasons. And because of raisins okay we will do our civic duties haha <laughs> duty okay let's say everybody's in raisins are a good reason Welcome to Enough About You, the game where we learn fun facts about each other. For cat example, is napping. I, I can got close into the curtain. Work due to my crippling eczema. See, it's fun. 
Attention Great. Attention players, this will be a completely full game. Please put your luggage in the first available compartment. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. The audience gets to throw extra lies into the mix and guess the truth along with players. Let's do this. Let's go. Here's how it works. I'm going to beam a question about you to your device. Answer with the truth. In a sec, you'll get your chance to lie about your fellow players. You get 500 points for fooling people with your made-up answers, 1,000 for finding the truth, and when the question's about you, you get reputation points for players who get the right answer. Ready? Well, I am. Excellent. Put in your answer now. All right. Who is everybody? Nobody knows. I think mostly people know each, or mostly people Finish just use the same, <laughs> same names. Also, hi, I'm Capt. Nice, <laughs> nice to meet you. All right. First up. First up. One of the grossest things this player has ever eaten is blank. Write your lies now. I think I might have done this question incorrectly. I think I might have misread the question. To be honest with you. Now that I'm staring at it on the screen here, I'm thinking, uh-oh. We might have to just dis disregard. <laughs> oh no! Come on, time's running out. Let's see. Okay, which one is the truth? All right. Frankly speaking. Frankly speaking, I did misread the question. <laughs> so, L for me. You lied about lying? No, I'm supposed to answer truthfully. I'm supposed to answer truthfully, and then you guys lie to try and trick everyone else. So this is—I played this game so many times. What an embarrassment. What an embarrassment I am. All right, what I thought it said one. was the opposite. Like one of the best things I've ever eaten. Like tastiest things I've ever eaten. Something along those lines. I've never eaten lizard though. Happy to say. Smoothie with no bananas. <laughs> That's good. The so so thinking that I I misread it. That's totally just on brand for me. Misread it. Thought it was supposed to be one of the best things I've ever eaten. And yeah, pasta on the street of Venice was the truth. That's one of the best things I've ever eaten. It's not like off the sidewalk, but like at a random street vendor. Easy to confuse. Absolutely, they're just the opposite. The actual grossest thing I've ever eaten, I think, was a um, very very inexpensive uh, prepackaged. Lukewarm the burrito. Celebrity's garage sale. This player would most like to go to is blank. All right, type in your lies. Hmm. It was delicious pasta, though. I mean, it's harder, it's, if you're gonna get pasta in Italy, it's hard to go wrong, right? Hurry 
up and finish before time runs out. You think you misspelled the name? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, find the truth. Oh. There are some good answers here. <laughs> there are some good answers. Someone just put sister. I have questions. Who's a sister? Who's sister and also who is sister? Those are two questions. And what are they famous for? Let's see how things shook out. Henry Cavill due to hotness is a good answer. Frankly, that's what I voted for. Also because of how often Bonnie has talked about Henry Cavill. <laughs> Let's be honest. There it is. Da ding Well played. Well played. Boop. <laughs> Here's All a right. question for you. Someone this player wouldn't want to get stuck in an elevator with is blank. Okay. Through your lies now. Hmm. Struggling. Who would listen? I want to get stuck in an elevator with. All right. <laughs> I just I just said the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> Don't mind my answer. You cheated, Rin. Rin, no. Rin, how could you? I believed in you. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Listen. I don't know who Stinkman is. But I also would not want to get stuck in an elevator with them. I'm just saying. There are... Frankly, I just wouldn't want to get stuck in an elevator. But... Stinkman would probably be the worst candidate to get stuck in an elevator with. Alright, let's see what everybody picked. A banana. Okay, <laughs> Rin. <laughs> a banana. What are you trying to say? Oh, they took the bait on that one. Specifically gassy, Danny DeVito. But if he was not feeling gassy... Who the hell is Stinkman? <laughs> I mean, I'm glad I answered or I managed to get it correct. But who was Stinkman? Who is Stinkman? The question is, the most disgusted this player has ever been was that one time when blank. Okay, enter your lies. The world needs to know. There, silly girl. Silly girl. Hurry, time's She's almost going, up. But I want to go on the desk. But you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to. You're not right, supposed to go the on the desk. Not that part of the desk, at least. Okay. Whew. These are. Hilarious. <laughs> um, 
She is scolding me now. Now she's leaving. She's like, I've had enough of this. You won't let me go on the desk mat? Then I'm out of here. Anyways, these are great answers. These are great answers. I like that there's just broccoli farts as one answer. Not a specific instant, just broccoli farts. <laughs> Yo, but actually, I voted hubby puked in her hair. All right, let's see what you guys picked. As someone who has literally been thrown up on, not just from my child, but like from other people, like a guy I was on the bus with once, stranger, like someone I didn't know, threw up on me. That is probably one of the grossest disgusted I've ever felt. So that resonated. That that resonated. And you all missed it. A spider landed on your head in your sleep. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Let's see how this strikes. Pretty not fun. Instead of the ice cream truck, this player would prefer the blank truck. Type in your lies now. Instead of the ice cream truck. Instead of the ice cream truck. Also, okay, take a look and find thank you for telling me about the stink man. And frankly, yuck. <laughs> stink man has a hygiene issue. To bring that up to management. It's a tough conversation. This is, uh... <laughs> I have questions about the dick truck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have questions. Which I will not ask. But I have them. <laughs> Let's see what everybody selected. It's just better ice cream. Is there a gelato truck though? Sushi truck. There. The fancy ice cream truck. See, I just like that. That's basically the gelato truck, right? Also nasty! I mean, not so. I mean, nasty! Okay, what is the socks truck? Is there, is there a socks truck? And a best friend truck? Do I have a truck now? There's a Cap Burgerson truck? I have so many questions. There are not that many kinds of trucks where I live, I guess. <laughs> Okay, focus up. An embarrassing singer or band this player secretly listens to is blank. And hmm, realize an now. embarrassing one. Hmm. Bonnie's in the lead. <laughs> Didn't know it was supposed to be your truth. Yeah, for yourself you put the truth. For other people you put lies. That's that's the uh, that would be Alley time traveler Alley. But you could say T Tally, or or you could just tally it with a stutter like a T Tally, T Tally. But it's Alley. Alley with two T's. All right, pick the truth. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
And the answer is... I love this what part. shall be the truth? Is it gonna be Smash Mouth? Is it gonna be Smash Mouth? Good line there, well fibbed. No, because that wouldn't be embarrassing. I'm glad it's not Jojo Siwa. And it was also... Oh! Double. You well, both you put the same like answer. Twins. That's that's funny. I think that's the first time we've seen that. At least on this stream. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't know who that is. <laughs> so... <laughs> Great. Okay, here's the question. When they were 10 years old, this player wanted to meet blank. Who did Joseph okay, want to meet at 10 years lies. old? Hmm. Who did Joseph want to meet at 10 years old? That's angry. Serious about that timer. Finish quick. The cat. Are you hearing this? Ginny, you're the one that laughed. <laughs> okay, seek the truth. <laughs> All right. All right. These are all good answers. Unfortunately, the Hulk. He's not a real, <laughs> not a real person. <laughs> but Mario and Luigi are. So, you could meet them. I met them, actually. Back in the nineties. Back in the nineteen hundreds. <laughs> There's no wrong answers here. I think I think all of these are actually correct. To be honest with you. Okay, let's take a look. You have a point there. A 10 years old? I probably would have wanted to meet the Hulk. Actually, not the Hulk, though. I probably would have wanted to meet Spider-Man, but not the Hulk. Who wouldn't want to meet Freddie Mercury? I want to meet Freddie Mercury. That's all I'm, I'm just saying. Well, now we know. Well, now we know. <laughs> well, now we know. Well played. Well played. Eyeballs. It's final round time. Everyone writes one truth and one lie. One truth themselves. and Anything one lie. At all. Make that lie good. You'll rack up points for every sucker you fool and for finding other players' truths. Get on with it. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Do you ever get to this moment and you realize you know nothing about yourself? Your 
All right. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Do 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 do. And there it is. Okay, spot the truth. Which about statement this about Ally is true? I have broken many bones. I am allergic to all scented soaps. Hmm. That's a tough one. That is tough. They both sound true. <laughs> but I'm guessing soap thing. Ayo! Nice. Very nice. Okay, which one? Which statement about Cap is true? For about two years, I didn't own a pair of jeans. My favorite band as a teenager was Flaming Lips. I'll tell you a truth right now is that Flaming Lips are great. Great band. Only two years, Natsu says. It's true. I'm about like 21 to 23. Something around that think? range. Maybe 20 to 22 years of age. Which statement of Joseph is true? I am bald or I am not bald. Joseph. <laughs> Joseph. Joseph. <laughs> Anyone who's seen a photo of you. I guess that's the trick then. Which statement about soul is true? Whoa. Never finished Tears of the Kingdom or was a Minecraft YouTuber in his youths, his younger years. What is the truth? <laughs> Soul does not own jeans. Finding my underwear. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. That's fair, Soul. Take a guess. Bonnie's in disbelief. Bananas are my favorite fruit. Or does she love Nicki Minaj? It's gotta be bananas, right? Right? Natsu also does not own jeans. People are really, really sweating on this one. I see how it is. No love for bananas. <laughs> Which statement about Rin is true? I have never tried a martini. When I was four months old, my intestines tangled. That's very specific. But you could have been doing the switcheroo where you said it. Haha, the truth is it was at six months, so the four month old one was a lie, and therefore you have been deceived, and I got all the points. It could have been that. It could have been. Right? Unless you've just really never tried a martini. No, it's true. Rin's had martinis. How? Why? Why, Alyssa? The truth. What did bananas do to you? Which statement about Bonnie is true? Sneasel? Obviously. How couldn't you love Sneasel? You hate martinis, but you know that you hate them because you have tried them. Right? Think about it. Mm. 
Oop. Don't tell Bonnie's kids. All right. <laughs> Which statement about Darren is true? First RPG was Paper Mario. First RPG was Earthbound. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna say Paper Mario. Yeah, the, the whole jeans thing for mine, my, my story was that at the time, my work had a no jeans policy. You had to wear like black trousers or, or dress pants. And then jeans were expensive, so I just like didn't buy any, basically. But it was Earthbound! See, that's my logic, Joseph. Darren was- Darren is- is a young- Earthbound is old game. But you know what? To be honest, Earthbound being your first RPG is very cultured. GG to Splat Daddy! Splat Daddy! <laughs> GG. GG. I love this music. Danny. But no, for real, the, the whole thing with my jeans was was that. I just, just, my work did not allow you to wear jeans at the time, so I just didn't buy jeans. They were, I was also pretty poor, so <laughs> they were expensive to get good jeans, so I just didn't bother to buy them. And then, later that changed. And I do own jeans now. Like three pairs of jeans, I think. Uh, also, both Allie and Soul gotta go. Thank you both for being here and hanging out. I appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday. We appreciate you. I appreciate you at least. I can't speak for everyone. Also, I'm glad they untangled your intestines, Rin. That is that is good to know. That is good. And if they hadn't, you wouldn't be here with us now. So I'm grateful to them doctors. I don't, Natsu doesn't like how jeans fit. Straight cuts too baggy, skinny feels too weird, and every tapered pants that Natsu's tried just feel like straight cut or skinny. Fair enough, fair enough. I I guess for me, like my jeans are my, my like, I'm leaving the house pants. I feel like I don't wanna leave the house in my sweatpants, which I wear around the house, or my joggers, which I wear around the house. Unless I'm running or jogging, then I should wear my joggers. But, you know, new fear unlocked intestines can get tangled. I wish I, I, I miss the man I was before I knew this. I'm gonna stretch weird and be like, no, wait, but my intestines. <laughs> you hate high rise pants. Interesting. I feel like that would be uncomfortable if it goes up too high, but you know, to each their own. You're allowed to wear whatever pants you want. Bonnie wears black jeans to work every day. Oh, you're working at the Bucks, though, right? So, the Sturbs. So you get me. That's where I was working when we qu I couldn't wear jeans. Uh, to work, at least. And then I worked five days a week. I was like, what's the point? What was the point, then? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Happens more commonly to infants because their bodies... Probably because their bodies are grown. I mean, it makes sense. They loosened the dress code. Yeah, I remember when I still worked there, at least here in Canada, they, they had loosened the dress code um, while I still worked there, which was like, what, 2016, 2017? Something like that. Great times. Except they, they only loosened, they still have, um, you know, they still had like dress code. It wasn't like no dress code. It was just loosened dress code. They said, well, I guess you could wear a black or a blue or gray shirt if you wanted. And I'm like, great. I can wear not just a black shirt now. I can also wear a blue or gray shirt. Thanks, Starbucks. Such a bob. I actually really vibe with this music. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I don't know. It's like silly, but, but I legit really enjoy it. Um... 
jean jacket with the Canadian tuxedo. Don't ever, never speak to me about this again. <laughs> no, I do not own jeans plus jean jacket. That's horrendous. That's horrendous. You know what? I'm a big, I'm a big comfy sweater kind of guy. Hence the big comfy sweater. I have a many a big comfy sweater. It is such a vibey song. It really is. It really is. It's just good. Tempted to keep this on just for that. But I won't. But I was tempted to. Uh, we got about 10 minutes left. Maybe a little longer. We can go for a little longer still in the stream. But, you know. This was fun. We've got to play some games. When I did that uh, poll earlier. Wait, I can't find it either. This was the option. I still wanted to do some of the other stuff. But... You know what? While I'm just chilling here, I'll just I'll just keep it going. It's a great song. You just sold your plasma to buy Garth Brooks CD. What? Well, the thing the the thing on the screen said it. The little flipping thing. I got the most likes. Yay! Yay! Oh, soul was most gullible. Best lie was Nickelback. My friend popped a blister and stuff shot out. Gross. It said that Alyssa gives tourists bad directions in per on, uh, uh, intentionally. That seems true, right? <laughs> it said that during the credits. That's really funny, actually. That's really funny. That does sound like something Bonnie would do, doesn't it? Just admit, just admit it. You did that. The game said it, so it must be true. It has to be, right? Right? Maybe? You think it's lies? If you say so. There's lyrics. There was like legit lyrics to this. Like. I've never heard the lyrics before, no. Or just never paid enough attention to them. That was someone's job to write the lyrics, it's true. Splat Daddy secretly hates this game. That's what it says. You do, don't you? You're a hater, aren't you? Joke Boat? I'll tell you, we've had some interesting results with Joke Boat before. I don't think we'll jump into another Jackbox game. The flute does go hard. We got a good few, what, four games in here? It's good. We had a good time. We had a good time. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. Do, 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 do. This is wild. Just because of the song? That's fair. That's fair. Wait, so this, I guess, would be Fibbage 3? I didn't realize there was a, fib a Fibbage 4, actually. That's really funny. Most of the newer Jackbox games have lyrics for their credit songs. I didn't know that. Special thanks to the people of Florida. Probably because they inspired all of the wackiness. You know? the All of the wackiness. Okay, so we've got a few minutes before we got to wrap up the stream here. And I suddenly have hiccups. But what's something y'all want to see while we're here? While we're still here. 
Hmm? Florida Man, yeah. This song is in the Dodo Remi Jackbox 10. It's like guitar. Oh, really? Okay, cool, cool, cool. We got the Dono from Rin. Oh my gorsh. Thank you so much, Rin. It says, We love you, Cat. Oh, thank you. You're such a great friend and entertainer. And your creative spirit is so inspiring. Here's the five more years. Rennie, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's crazy looking back at this, that this bidness. Hang on. Let me just look at all this. This bidness. Years ago. Many things from years ago. Look at these thumbnails. They're bad. <laughs> these are much better thumbnails. <laughs> Why is the text so small? Why is the text so the same color as the background? <laughs> oh. We, we've come a long way. What was the point of this video? There was no point. Lessons were learned, though. And that's... That's important. I think. Some people would say so. Can you redo your thumbnails? Uh, you can. In fact, I actually have redone some... Thumb like, all of these ones, right here, were redone. I think I might still have some of the older ones. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll find it. I'll find it for you. If I can. If I still have it. I'm scrolling way down in my little thumbnails folder. Okay, okay. Compare, for example. This thumbnail. To when I redid it. Which was here. It's like, you know, the ideas were in place. You know, you got the map, you got the dungeon entrance, you got the words. W words are important. Right? But this is so much more readable and reading legibility that's important yeah so i actually have gone back and uh redone a number of thumbnails mostly these ones mostly the dungeon ones but you know hashtag not all thumbnails got the chance to be re redone unfortunately or maybe fortunately depending on how you look at it I don't know. How do you look at it? And then I didn't end up redoing these Wind Waker ones. I thought they were fine enough. You know? So it almost looks like they get worse. But only because I did these ones after. See, like, this text? Too small. Too small. Too much... Shiny. <laughs> Too much touch shiny. Should have gone with white text with shadow drop or, a, you know, drop shadow instead of red text on some of these. I could just go back and uh, pick apart all of my stuff that if left alone. The E3 vlogs, we, we were watching some of those earlier, not to actually. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was fun. We, got, we, we watched the part with Drunk Jesse. So, you know. Darren says, want to check out the first dungeon design video. Sure. Oops. This is, yeah, the these ones right here, some of my lowest viewed videos. Look at the tiny text, though. Gameplay in motion. That's great if anyone could read that. <laughs> um, all right. So you think you know Wix? I do. You really? I don't know Wix. I don't even think I know Wix. 
we did watch the first Tears of Kingdom teaser rea reaction. It's true. Here, let me move this this Wix ad. So this started as five minutes into the video. Hold on, let's 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 go back a little. And now we have an ad for TD. Just great. That's just what I was looking for. What what else would I want? Go away, TD ad. Okay. Oh, the old intro. Hi, everybody. I want to talk about Zelda. I like Zelda. So, okay, fun fact number one right off the start. Right right at the start of this. My voiceover in this video. Kind of bad because I actually recorded it, like, late at night. So I was like, I was specifically trying not to be loud while recording it. So you can kind of, I think that kind of comes through that I was like speaking at a low register you're like like trying to not wake anyone in the house up <laughs> i think that comes through on on this video especially if you haven't noticed and when talking zelda it's hard not to mention what many consider to be the series' pivotal factor night owl yeah the dungeons dungeons are almost as synonymous with zelda as also hey mage like exploration and Welcome. have been a series staple since the very original. I doubt I need to explain how important to the series they are. I've been doing quite a lot of reminiscing lately, and one game's dungeons keep standing out to me as such a turning point for the series. I'm just gonna go ahead and gush about Ocarina of Time for a while. Now, I mean, yeah. in today's video, I just want to start at the beginning and talk about the game's first dungeon. But before we dive into that, a bit more on why I chose to start here with Ocarina of Time. Do not get me wrong, the first four <laughs> games in this series had some Better than the yelling videos your kids watch. How many hours can we survive in a haunted Yeah, legit. Legit. I feel I feel that, Bonnie. I feel that so hard. And I never wanted to be that kind of creator that was hyped for the sake of being hyped when it doesn't if it doesn't like actually add anything to the video. Do you know what I mean? What's up, guys? In today's video, we're going to look at old videos. Yeah, I don't know. That's just... <laughs> this is not my style. Not my style. Yeah. No. Really great dungeon design. But there is something about the shift in level design from 2D to 3D that I think was really important for the series. In the original quartet of Zeldas, graphically and thematically speaking, there wasn't as much depth to the dungeons from what I can tell. Mm. There is really fantastic I don't know if I still feel that level way. design here. Don't get me wrong. But when looking at things like architecture, ambience, and in-universe lore, they don't carry the same weight. This is not a dig at the previous games. In fact, a Link to the Past is one of my all-time oh, we actually favorite watched games this clip. And always hold a special place in my heart. <laughs> Earlier. Objectively, Ocarina of Time really nails this concept better and had a long-lasting effect on the series as a whole. Speaking of objectivity, I'm just going to say this as a bit of a... This is something else I'm, I, I recall um, being very happy with this script, how it turned out, even though it's a little uh, all over the place and a little unfocused in many ways. I always felt like this one captured like the vision of what I wanted the series to be for dungeon design, and I kind of like slowly deviated from that into more like focus on the like individual room to room moments and like to to a point where it was like almost too much into that in that direction um and then by the time i uh got back to breath of the wild and was like i have to rethink how i write these that was the point where i kind of almost came back to this style of writing that i did for this video and i was like no this is this is so much better like we don't need to talk about every single individual room to make the point um, so, anyways, I have a soft spot. Uh, we did actually look at the origin of Greg, the original Greg clip, and Frog. A couple Frog clips. Disclaimer here, that mm -hmm. I am biased as hell towards Ocarina of Time. Honestly, this game came out when I was just a wee child, and was definitely one of the most important games of my formative years. Anyways, I've gone mm -hmm. on long enough. You're all here for the dungeon appreciation, so here we go. Starting this little series off... Just Let's a wee lad. That's me. Tree. Or that was me. So actually, the Ocarina of Time I played, it, it came out in 98. I didn't play it in 98. 
I believe it was 1999 when I got it. Uh, the N64 we got when I was a kid came with, we got it with Donkey Kong 64, which came out in 99. So that it had to have been at least 1999, if not early 2000, um, that I got my childhood N64, that my family got it. Really, I, I say I got it. Uh, but my family got it, which I was a part of. Although when I moved out, I took the N64 with me. None of my brothers had claimed it or anything. So I was like, mine, yoink. And that console sits on the top of this shelf. Although you actually can't see it from this angle, but it's up there. It's in, it will, it, I'll never get rid of it. Too much nostalgia. DK64 was a great game as well. Definitely sunk a lot of hours into that. I never had Mario 64. Uh, I, I did play it. I borrowed it from a neighbor uh, a number of times. Same with Star Fox 64. Borrowed that one from um, my brother's friend who had it. But uh, yeah, yeah. But we didn't own that many games. We had like Donkey Kong Don- Don- 64, Ocarina of Time, and we had Star Wars Pod Racer of all games. I think I think for a while those were like the only games we had. Um which is crazy. But I actually do still have that cartridge. My old cartridge from when I was a kid. True story. So there you have it. You're about to ask about pod racing? I don't know uh, why we had that game. But it, it was it's kind of an underrated gem, actually. To be honest with you. I have quite the soft spot for it. I was never very good at it, though. <laughs> Anyways. Ooh. Ew. And that was the N64 I recorded, or used to record, was, was my old childhood one. Crazy. Crazy. A game's first level has a lot resting on it. Mm -hmm. It's a player's first impression and sets the precedent for the rest of the game. So it's important to get that first dungeon just right. Thematics, difficulty, story, teaching. These are all things that must properly be executed in order for a game's introduction to be Let's successful. You have to sell your I'm just players stop on tinkering this game. With it. I'm happy to say that Ocarina of Time accomplishes this pretty well. Now, personally, I'm a fan of when a game just drops you right into the action. That clip, this clip right here, this Breath of the Wild uh, bit of footage, uh, was actually one that... Uh, Oh, it was a bundle. Uh, that makes that's probably why I had it. You're probably right, Bonnie. Uh, I recorded this clip. This is from the fr- when I first got Breath of the Wild, March third, twenty seventeen, and I recorded my first session on the Great Plateau. And I actually still have that raw footage. I never deleted it because, like, I don't know. I have a nostalgia for that. But you can really see me sucking at the game. <laughs> so true story. That's original footage from 2017 even though this video was made in 2021 so yeah weird little bit of nostalgia the wild opens up giving you free reign over the great plateau i have a video on that by the way which is a large wide open space to let you learn the game Mm -hmm. majora's mask begins with a literal chase a link to the past brings you into hyrule castle to rescue zelda you can also tell that this was footage recorded off an actual super nintendo because of the video quality of it. True story. That's the story up and gives you an action-packed intro dungeon. And Zelda 1 just drops you into the open and says, good luck. Meanwhile, <laughs> games like Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, and Wind Waker make you sort of do your chores before you can get to the first dungeon. Literally, in Twilight Princess's case. So as for Ocarina of Time, I think it's honestly a good balance between- Okay, I haven't watched this video in a while. So I'm just gonna say something here. That comment about Twilight Princess making you do your chores. When I when I re-uploaded this video in like uh, part of a compilation, I didn't really re-watch the videos. 
I, I stitched them together. Uh, I only watched really like the very tail end and the beginning parts so that I could stitch them together properly. But what I do know is that a lot of people got really upset at that comment about Twilight Princess. Like I had a lot of comments on the compilation video. There was a re-upload with this one. People being like, why are you being such a Twilight Princess hater? Why do you hate the game? Stop making fun of Twilight Princess. I'm such a butt hurt fanboy. And I'm like, I just don't like goat hurting. <laughs> like, and the thing is too, is that I have like made several videos praising the hell out of Twilight Princess. I just don't think it handles this tutorial very well. But people got very upset with that. I think it's like blind fanboyism, to be honest. Like it's, it's one of those things where, see, I said it. Um, no, but it is one of those things where it's like, people assume that if you have a criticism of something you would hate it and that's not true i love twilight princess i think it's a great game i just don't think it's a perfect game you can like something and still have criticisms of it anyways in these two styles people got really upset about that you're not really dropped into the action but the tasks that you have to complete before i might say that joseph are really just <laughs> equipping yourself with a sword and shield which is fairly unintrusive for both new players learning the controls as well as for returning players trying to get through this section in a timely manner. I only mention this because for Ocarina of Time, the Deku Tree is still really your first impression of the game. While in a case like Twilight Princess, oh, hey, here we go. you may have been playing the game four hours before reaching the first dungeon. And for me, a veteran of the series, I hate that in an otherwise stellar game, I'm here breathing a sigh of relief reaching that first dungeon and saying, Oh, finally, I made it to the good part. Here in Ocarina of Time, that progression feels far more natural and you really step inside with a sense of wonder. I, of course, elaborated on Twilight Princess's own videos, but like the way it handles its tutorial, I always felt was like, they're like, because people are like, well, it's just world building and that's important. And it's like, yeah, world building is important. Uh, I don't think Ocarina of Time suffers in the world building department though. And, and I do elaborate in Twilight Princess's own dedicated videos, like the world building parts are actually good. It's the parts where the game like comes to a screeching halt so that three kids teach you how to use a sword, even though you supposedly already know how to use a sword. <laughs> and then they do the same thing with a slingshot within 10 minutes of each other. Uh like it's like the the game the like, pacing just like grinding to a screeching halt so these kids can be like press the b button to pull out your sword tar z target now jump a do press to do a jump attack show us the spin attack like that stuff is so annoying but anyways apparently i'm a hater <laughs> so by the way that sense of wonder and mystery is aided further by koji kondo's amazing music the man is a legend for a reason He's a genius. The goal here was to give he a more a genius, ambient, Koji atmospheric the feel, and each and every dungeon in this game really nails that. While I think the dungeon music in the game's second act is much stronger musically, I can't deny the mysterious vibe that this track offers. Now this dungeon is really easy. Hater Wednesdays, that's right. Minutes by some players, but that's sort of the point here. This is the first dungeon, and for Link, the first real threat he's facing. And as such, there is a lot of room for forgiveness here. I don't think that it was any mistake that many of the item pickups in this dungeon are in the form of grass, which will regrow rather quickly after you cut it, so that you can cut it again and get more items rather than the clay pots that we find in so many more places throughout the game. The dungeon also has plenty of recovery hearts to find. And it really is exactly an amazing hit. start to, to 3D Zelda in general. I think it's just like just a masterclass in, in, in tutorialism, in, in being a tutorial. I really think so. And yeah, the vibe is so good with that music. So, so good. So far, I think I mostly am still like aligned with what I said in this video. And <laughs> either. The enemies also mostly consist of those which are tethered in place, making them great starter enemies. Deku Babas, Deku Scrubs, even the Skulchulas 
having these enemies being mostly stationary really eases players into the combat. This, this is such a good point. This was especially important when this game was new because it invented lock-on targeting in 3D. So this was all very new to everybody. For new players, this is so that's so that live really simple, legit point. And can't pursue you if you need to make a retreat. Meanwhile, for returning players, they're an unintrusive obstacle. I would consider and my now a good training an ad partner. for Nissan. I still feel like that is a, such a solid point about the the combat like tutorialization. Like when you could, even before the dungeon, there's Deku Babas outside, and they they only kind of like wiggle around. They don't lunge at you. So it's like you first have like very stationary enemies and then the Deku Babas in the dungeon lunge at you. So it's like a slightly more reach. Ah, like, yeah, that's, that's so good. That's real good. I wish I had mentioned that in this video. <laughs> Structure wise, the dungeon is I wish very I had. simple. Again, ideal for new players, but without being boring for returning players. I also think that having the dungeon laid out in oh. such a vertical structure was a very smart move. I hate that. This this little bit of editing here, okay? Background. I also think that having the dungeon they laid like, out. There's it's there's this I know exactly what effect I used to have them uh sort of like bounce onto screen like that. Do 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 my alarm's about to go off. You're right, Joseph. <laughs> you know me too well. Um, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> it is about to go off in 15 seconds. Anyways, that uh, that effect is... Anyways, I hate it. I hate how it looks now in hindsight. Like, it's so not how I... Well, it's obviously not how I do things still, right? Here it comes. I'll go snooze it. We got time. But yeah, anyways, it's just like one of those things. You know, you, you get better at editing. We probably don't have time to finish watching this, guys. But we'll, we'll go a little, few more minutes. Vertical structure was a very smart move to showcase how redefined Zelda as a series would be after transitioning to 3D. While not it's all of the game's dungeons are as strikingly Liar. vertical in their design as this one, when you're used to playing only top-down 2D Zelda, seeing this for the first time really is a great showcase that this is a new era and while the dungeon is i do think large and open, uh i undersell the verticality aspect in a link to the past in that statement though to be honest because I mean, it wasn't true 3d like it wasn't true verticality it's an illusion but it definitely did play into the level design like tower of hera in a link to the past is fully built around um around its verticality right so so you know maybe i undersell it a little to make my point here or maybe i wasn't i didn't think of it that way at the time i think that's more likely the case you know been they you know really guide you through the path in a linear way in order to teach you the game's mechanics when you enter you can see there are multiple paths before you but you can't really pursue any of them. Mm -hmm. The hole in the floor is covered by a giant spider web, so the only path ahead is up to the second floor, where you'll find the map. If you try to climb any farther up, you'll get attacked by these wall chillas. So again, the only viable route is through the door on the second floor, through which you will find an easy to deal with Deku scrub. You don't even have to attack him, just block his attack and he will yield. In that very next room, you'll find the game's first dungeon item, the slingshot. Mm -hmm. Of course, you should already have the Deku nuts and sticks by this point, but the slingshot is far more important as a starter item since it's going to introduce us to first person aiming in 3D space. Yep. And it's going to do so in a controlled environment. Also, this song, I forgot almost how much of a bop I, I, I enjoy that song, but it's a, uh, I believe the track is a modus operandi. Hang on, sorry, you just see my recents folder here. <laughs> um, it was it I believe was that song though. Hold on. Da -da 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 -da. I'm gonna find it, but I can't read. I'm illiterate. Yes, I am. Am I looking in the wrong folder? No. Let's see, this might be it. Yeah, this is the song. That was a good one. 
that was a fun one that was actually the that was the break music for a while on streams you know classic classic it's a real throwback one this is a classic metroid move by the way giving you a new item mm -hmm. or ability and then locking you in the room forcing you to use your new item to get out in this case it's simply shooting the ladder then shooting the Walchulas in the main room to be you can skip shooting the ladder though in the dungeon technically this is the game easing you into slightly more difficult situations and teaching you how to use this new item without giving you a huge blatant this is how you use the slingshot tutorial I'm sorry, I keep bragging on Twilight Princess. I do love that game. I mean, it <laughs> does give you this huge annoying text box telling you how to equip- Such a hater! Why do I hate Twilight Princess? I don't, I, anyways. <laughs> the item, which it does with every single item that you get. Such a I'm hater. I'm not really a fan of that. But aside That's me. from just what buttons to press, the way it teaches you to actually use the item in application is really well done. Now that you can progress to the top floor, You'll find a fairly simple. Obviously, I hate it because I'm bad at it. it Obvi. Where you'll obtain the compass. From here, the dungeon sort of shifts. Of gears. course. It's taught you a lot of the basics, and it says, "Okay, you got the slingshot." Hold on. Gears. It's taught you a lot of. This. These are uneven. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> the basics, and it says, "Okay, you got the slingshot, map, compass. You're good from here." And I like that change of pace. It's held your hand all the way up to this point and funneled you up here. And now it forces you to think for yourself. You know that big spider? They were thing? uneven. I think placing that right by the entrance was an intentional choice as well. Because that's one of the first things you'll see in the dungeon. And so it's something that really stands out. You've also got the map and compass telling you, I mean, if you checked the map at least, you've explored everything on the top three floors and all that you have left to explore is in the basement below the first floor. So it's not a stretch for players to have to think about how they're going to get past that spider web and down into the basement. And since the game has funneled us all the way up to the top of this huge open room, we jump. Thank goodness for the water to cushion our landing. That was a nice little editing bit though. Just the cut. The music ended naturally there, so it wasn't abrupt. The cut to black. We jumped like two very two very effective words. Just boop. That was good. Anyways, we actually are unfortunately out of time, but you can watch the rest of the video. Obviously, it's easy to find. It's on the front page of my channel. So <laughs> if you you know, it's 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 right there. It's right there. I try and keep the channel nice and organized, you know. You know? But TBH, guys. This was super fun. This was a very fun stream. I know it was not Tears of the Kingdom. It was not a TOTK stream like I usually do on the Wednesdays. The original seamless edit between high up to underground OOT walked so Tears of the Kingdom could run. Facts. Facts. This was the coolest stream. No, you're the coolest person. You're not a stream. So you're, I was going to say you're the coolest stream. You're not. You're a human person. But I appreciate it, guys. I'm actually going to shut that music. And let's play Let's play an old outro song. We'll put on that song that I just had. The old modus operandi. Do, 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 do. I have to find it again. <laughs> but anyways. Friends. Foes. Felines. Etc. Um, thank you for being here. Thanks for being awesome. Truly, truly awesome. And uh, we'll be back on Saturday. I haven't quite decided what to stream because we finished with splatoon one obviously so we'll see and is this gonna be too loud maybe we'll turn it down there you go there we go but i'll uh, let you know i'm thinking of just doing more splatoon 3 side order because there's some stuffs i still want to get in there so you know perhaps we'll do that 
But stream Silk Song, it will be out by Saturday. <laughs> I wish. I wish. I really wish. Um, yeah. I'm very behind on actual video upload stuff, by the way. I apologize, guys. I've had just just a shit ton of stuff come up lately. Uh, I talked a little bit about that the other week, and then I had a pipe leak in one of my walls. Landlord had to come and help deal with it and stuff. It was just It's just been like, like I said, one thing after the other, and it keeps setting me farther back on this video that I've been working on, which was already like such a huge project, so my apologies. But I'm back to work on it tomorrow because I think that all the crises are settled down. <laughs> um, but I might just record the next video and get that up done before I finish this one. We'll see. We'll see. And then Splatfest. Oh, when is Splatfest? Yeah, then it'll probably be... Is it the 20th? I guess we'll see. If, if there is Splatfest, we'll do it. We'll do it when it's up. So, yeah. It's always the worst, but we understand. Thank you for understanding. Oop, there was the snoozed alarm. Okay. There we go. For real, I gotta go, guys. So, thank you all for being here. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for the last five years and making those five years just incredible. I'm so always grateful and humbled and just just pleased to be able to do this. Um, and it's only possible because of you guys. So, thank you. Truly, truly and also, thank you, here's my segue. Maybe I am good at ending these, because here's the segue. Thank you also to the names that you're about to see. Scroll on by on the screen right now. Thank you all. And also, I there's a couple of names I have to add on to this, which I'll do before Saturday. So, yes, as it turns out, I lied. I'm very good at ending these. Thank you all so much. I love you. Have a great day. And I'll see you soon.